strong. strong.
And uh, city versus city, something, you know, it gives us a little more edge. My home city versus someone else's home city. So it's like you're fighting for your uh, territory kind of a thing. So it's a great thing and I love about that. The moment of creation is a form of magic, where an off becomes an on, a zero becomes a one, then another, and another, until, deep in the complexity, you discover order, speed, reliability, power, experience, the WD Black. MVME SSD. Fueled by darkness. Level up to MVME SSD performance. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are back to AMD Ryzen 5000 series presents Sky Esports League 2020 powered by WD Black. This is me, Dr. Dang. Along along with me is Dinkar. So I am back after a break of a two of two days. I had my exams, but Dinkar has been here for quite a while. So Dinkar, why don't you walk me and our viewers through what all has happened? I mean, uh, we have had amazing competition. If if you talk about the game that we had today, it was it was totally a cutthroat competition between Rajasthan and Mumbai. Rajasthan getting an edge over Mumbai. You know, they they won the game in two straight sets, so that was one thing to um, look forward to. Mumbai. Uh, I mean, they, they they fought against Chennai in their first game, and um, they went away with a win. So they were already having the upper hand. But Rajasthan coming back very strongly. I mean, they they missed out against Kolkata, but they finally proved their worth against uh, Mumbai yesterday. So 
so it was an amazing match um i'm 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 very you know uh, sad that you missed out on that action um but you know it was amazing seeing the both the teams play and improve so much after just one game you know but the the things that we were talking about rice and that maybe these things are uh, things that they should look forward to they just ticked every box and came out very strongly uh, specifically the plays coming in from mw1 and deathmaker it was amazing to see both of the players stepping up from their team and um, no no i mean i'm looking forward to today as well if you have i guess it's kolkata versus mumbai and um it, it's kolkata versus chennai actually chennai won the oh, i mean chennai lost their last game against mumbai um they won the first round but after that they were not able to continue with the same kind of momentum so i'm really looking forward to see if chennai can bounce back as well just like rajasthan did yesterday that is true i think all of these teams would have put in quite a bit of an effort figuring out what went wrong for them in the first rounds that they lost so rajasthan and chennai both they were first round losers um but still today it is going to be mumbai versus chennai oh, sorry again my bad it is going to be rajasthan versus chennai so um both of these teams first round losers they know what they have uh, they need to work on what needs to be fixed so i think that they will be indeed doing that and <coughs> i'm sorry um <clears throat> yeah so coming back i think that today specifically chennai um is going to be fired up because they've had a longer break than the other teams they have had a lot more time to you know uh, get back into the game after a short break you know get their thoughts straight um get get themselves to figure out what they want to do what they don't want to do and at the end of the day they will always have rafa yeah they'll always have rafa let's see what he brings to the table today he has been the star performer for chennai even if they lost the first game kolkata on the other hand you know uh, we have a lot of god like supporters in the chat as well nikhil thank you so much for coming in and um, they also i mean coming after after that um, i guess that was a win uh, against rajasthan and that was a tremendous win for them just because they were on the um, i mean specifically if you talk about haven they were very close to losing but the comeback that they did and um, the intensity that they had in the second half of the game it was amazing and i would like to see that from the get go today because they they let the things go uh, away from them uh, if if you talk about the last game they had it was 126 the score line was 126 yes the comeback was amazing but you know comebacks are uh, are the things that you don't see happening too often and uh, it will be very hard to pull that thing against chennai so um, i guess it's important for for them to to actually go on with that momentum and um, start those things from the get go now talking about the prize pool breakup that we have on our screens you know south east asia's biggest prize pool and one of a kind tournament a uh, 1 million rupees prize pool for this tournament uh, first place takes away 4 lakh rupees second place going away with 2 lakh 50000 as well third place getting away with 1 lakh rupees fourth place gets 50000 fifth sixth seventh eighth get 25000 each and mvp player and star player gets 50000 each so i mean amazing prize pool coming up um, for this tournament one of a kind tournament one of a kind prize pool as well that is true one of a kind prize pool definitely and one thing that i would really like to point out is that last time mvp and star players do got a goodie bag from hyperx but this time it is going to be cold hard cash so there's that small difference in the price pool but nonetheless it is going to be interesting because now we will be making our way into the map veto very soon we will be figuring out which is going to be the first map that both of these teams will be playing and i don't know about you but i'm guessing we will be seeing um possibly a bind yeah let's see uh, phoenix thank you so much for coming in it's it's really it really feels good to see a lot of familiar uh, faces in the chat thank you so much for coming in and i hope you will enjoy the show today as well now talking about the game itself um kushjan the the sole reason for that is that you know it's it's a mix of content creators influencers and pro players uh, just so that you know the domain of the of the people we are reaching extends and so that the esports community in india extends as well i hope you get the point kush um you know there will be a lot of people explaining you that in the chat as well as the game goes on so it's it's about you know reaching more players reaching more influencers and the pro pro, pro players as well getting them uh, the things that they want dear reaper um um thank you so much for coming in though i mean talking about the game itself it's going to be um, a very tough game for both the teams let's see what happens that is true and there you go dinkar is certainly having a great time all right so um why is it red uh, uh maybe that's just the camera bugging out but that's fine it doesn't uh matter but yes nonetheless we will be uh, possibly seeing a bind or an ascent i you know we might even see a split coming in from both of these teams but um it's actually time to see the leaderboard so there you go 
ग्रुप ए राजस्थान सिटिंग ऑन टॉप राइट नाउ एवरी सिंगल टीम एक्सेप्ट चेन्नई हैज पिक्ट अप पॉइंट्स इन द कोर्स ऑफ द फर्स्ट टू राउंड्स इट इज गोइंग टू बी चेन्नई और कोलकाता हु विल बी डिसाइडिंग हु इज गोइंग टू गो एट द टॉप ऑफ द लीडर बोर्ड और विल बी सिटिंग लेवल विद एवरी सिंगल टीम सो कोलकाता दे हैव द ऑप्शन ऑफ गोइंग टू द टॉप ऑफ द लीडर बोर्ड इफ दे विन दिस मैच बिकॉज आफ्टर दैट कम बैक दैट दे हैड it is going to be interesting to see what they're going to do against chennai chennai on the other hand they have to make sure that they pick up this uh, match up between both these teams because if they do not they'll be sitting with two losses and at the bottom of the leaderboard and that is not a position that you want to be in group b looks a lot more different compared to how group a looks there you go hyderabad sitting on top with four points two wins no losses while bangalore has had to face a loss against them and so has punjab yeah uh, i mean you know all the teams have been really good hyderabad going away with two teams have been the ta- has been t- the take away for group b but you know if you talk about group a it is it is more volatile if you talk about it chennai certainly needs to uh, step up their game today if they want to go away with those two points i mean they have been pretty good but unfortunately you know they didn't get the win in their favor against the uh, in the game against mumbai so let's see if they'll be able to come back it's a chance for them uh, kushan bro I, i i know what you're saying and i understand that point uh, but um, it's not the case I I mean, they have been putting up a very good show, and you'll be seeing a glimpse of that today as well. I hope uh, that that you know what you're thinking will change after the day ends. We'll we'll talk about that at the end as well. I'm looking forward to you your comment after the game ends. So that's something I'm looking forward to. Uh, I hope you you stay with us and see the performance that are being put. But uh, I I think you get the point. Like why this is happening. Uh, talking about the top five players, I mean, this has been an amazing tournament with a lot of players stepping up. X Cali was on the leaderboard, on the top of the leaderboard, leaderboard actually yesterday. But Deathmaker and Strix, they had very good games, and Deathmaker specifically, um, you know, playing a vital role in in his team's victory. He came up, got those one hundred and sixteen kills. Uh, deaths, if you talk about it, fifty seven deaths. Um, Strix, uh, again going with one hundred seven kills. Um, Reaper, I, he's already offended. You, 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 you can't. You just can't. You know, you just can't. You can't do that. Anyways, thank you so much for coming in, Reaper. He, he's a good sport. He, he doesn't take anything uh, on his heart. So yeah, he will, he will let it go. Don't worry about it. And uh, Xcali coming on the third position as well. M W one had a very good day yesterday. So that was one thing um, that that has put him on the top of the le- on, on on the fourth position on the leaderboard. Skills also um, one player coming in from Bangalore again. these are the players who have been set, uh, stepping up for the team but um, you know if if you leave out these players as well it has been a complete team game uh, from from all the teams that we have seen we have seen all the players stepping up specifically if you talk about the rajasthan squad that played yesterday and then strix also uh, from from mumbai i mean he he was one of the top guys so yeah i'm i'm really looking forward to uh, the players who are going to play today and if they can make their way to top 5 that is true and one thing that i would that I don't know. Like I am still honestly impressed. Is that Deathmaker has successfully maintained almost a one, almost a two KD. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I mean he, more than that. It's not more, but uh, yes, it is in fact more. Ah, yeah, it's more. One hundred forty. Yep, that is true. He still has more than a two KD, and that is certainly honestly amazing because. Uh, at the level that these teams are playing against the competition that they are playing it is not easy to do what they have done i mean i don't know whether uh, you know we are going to be seeing deathmaker for uh, the semi finals or the finals but he is definitely going to be a player that you will have to look out for throughout this tournament simply based on whether he is going to finish at the top of the leaderboards or not I mean yeah he has been amazing uh, if you talk about him and he has been putting up a very good show even if his team lost he was one of the players that stood out so uh, you know i have been i have been seeing him from the first day itself and uh, he has been the kind of you know the soul soldier in the first few games but then the team game came in with mwm uh, you know mw1 stepping up as well i'm very sorry for that um, and yeah we we had a lot of people yesterday in the chat saying nerf deathmaker nerf deathmaker and that tells you the kind of impact he has had even the you know that the people who came in to support their team uh, they were they were you know stunned by the performance deathmaker was putting in but again you know then then after that we saw mw1 com- coming up with a lot of 2k's 3k's um it was amazing from from mumbai side as well strict stepping up there were some other players as well who were taking those skills unfortunately not able to meet the ends but yeah they they already had a victory in their back um from the game against chennai so yeah chennai 
um i guess since they lost the first game it it uh, creates an extra bit of pressure on them uh, to to win this one because if they lose two in a row i guess that's going to be a dent uh, in in the, in the you know the, the cruise towards uh, the semi final you all you only have six games to play that will give you a total of 12 points but if you lose your first two games um that can be you know something that that is very hard to come back anyway smx one of the top guys but when when we saw i mean he was amazing rafa also um it, these two guys need no introduction they, they have been amazing for their teams only one game for both of them but yeah 53 kills coming in from rafa um, smx also maintaining it at 51 so not a lot of difference but you talk about the death smx has been a very stable guy he has been the kind of guy uh, who has been you know who has been staying till the end for his team so he has been making a lot of difference let's see if he'll be able to do that again if if we will see more of rafa or if, or we will see lo- more of smx i mean these two players um, if if they go on and if if only one of them plays i guess that's going to be uh, A, a massive boost for their teams, and they might just go away with the win. But still, I'm I'm really looking forward to, um, you know, how how these players are going to go up against each other. That is true, and honestly speaking, uh, considering what I have seen Rafa do, uh, I know that he can pr- bring a lot more to the table. So I'm still waiting for the real Rafa to show up. He has definitely showed us instances where, uh, you know, he becomes the player that he is. But still. there is still that little bit more that rafa can do that he has still not showed us so honestly i am very very um excited to see whether he'll be doing that today or not because when rafa decides to go when deci- when rafa starts off he is definitely someone uh, that you need to be wary about i mean i was watching the na first strike grand finals and tsm's drone on phoenix was the kind of player that rafa i have seen to be um obviously drones playing at a very uh, different level than what all of these uh, players are playing at but still the way that rafa gets along with his run it back on phoenix is something that i was seeing drone do and i was just reminded constantly of what i have seen rafa do and what we have not seen of him yet so if rafa is definitely going to bring that on it is going to be very very tough for this team of kolkata to figure out what is going to be done because rafa phoenix vandal run it back 3k 4k easy yeah yeah we have seen that um happen for for a lot of time anyways uh, dd per thank you so much for coming in then we had uh... um adi as well adi welcome to the shim shivani thank you so much for coming in as well so now talking about the you know these two players flex and scar god very comparative stats um again this 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 comes down to a team game that we are having and uh, we would expect all the players to step up for their team and then only you can you can go away with the victory heaven i guess it's a choice coming in from kolkata because chennai certainly didn't have a very good game at heaven they lost 213 um in heaven against uh, i guess it was mumbai yeah chennai versus mumbai it was 132 so i guess that's a pick that kolkata has made and maybe that that you know that the game that they lost in 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 um against mumbai that plays a vital role in that they were watching that they saw that maybe chennai had a uh, you know a, a very bad game and in that game chennai started attacker so that's a that's a change that is happening here kolkata starting at attacker heaven is the map uh let's see who gets the edge is it going to be chennai going away with the first round or is it going to be kolkata you know coming up uh with another victory they have they already have one chennai has extra bit has an extra bit of pressure but still uh we'll have to see you know who comes out on top today well yes kolkata on attack and chennai on defense so chennai i would say has the short a little bit of an advantage if they are able to keep the split in mind if they do get a good score line on split because haven can be a very attacker sided map and if you do pick up even a 6-6 split or maybe even a 7-5 yep. or an 8-4 split for yourself on defense then you take a very very big advantage on to you so if uh chennai is even trailing on rounds um, on defense during the split i would not be too worried about it but as long as they are understanding that they do need to make up for the round differential um it should be a very um simple map to take for them because they are starting on defense they'll be making their way to attack if they can keep their calm in the defensive rounds pick up the rounds that they can there will obviously be rounds that kolkata will be taking but if chennai can do that then they will take a very big advantage on the other hand if kolkata want to make sure that the defensive split does not um hinder their move um, move into you know winning this map then they have to pick up the maximum number of rounds they can 
I'm pretty sure that these players already know that Chennai is possibly looking to play it safe so that they can get a better split and then maybe move on and get the rounds on attack. But if Kolkata knows that and they're able to capitalize on it by, you know, surprising team Chennai with the way uh, they want to attack site, maybe fake a C and go to B through A or maybe take control of B link by using your Omen teleports. But if Kolkata is able to do that, then Chennai will have a big problem on defense. Yeah, so, you know, very well said. And, uh, you know, if you talk about the first few rounds, there has been no round that has been completely one-sided. That's one thing um, that I have seen throughout the tournament. Uh, yesterday, we, we certainly had a game where, where one of the team was leading with 6-1. But uh, at the end, it was 6-6. So, there are no one-sided uh, rounds in the, in the first few phases of the game. So, we'll have to see if, if that happens today and if any of these teams um, can come in and just go away with that. Anyways, um, yeah, and I was actually, I'm, I'm actually reading all the comments. So thank you so much for coming in and thank you so much for uh, creating the, these kinds of funny moments in the chat. Anyways, talking about the game itself, Omen is going to be on the both sides. We have seen Jet as well as as a um, general pick coming in all the games. So that's no surprise to me. Cypher coming in both sides as well. I mean, the, the information gathering is certainly one of those uh, things that we have seen. And Rafa with that Phoenix, he has been amazing. Let's see if he'll be able uh, to continue with these kinds of things and if he'll be able uh, to to stay at the top because if he stay, stays at the top it will be very hard for the other team to come back well something that i would like to point out is that uh chennai's omen lord batura i almost read it as lord batura which is i don't know if you guys know i'm pretty sure a lot of people know batura Select your is, agent. um basically like a big puri so yeah nonetheless it will be um an interesting game between both of these teams as we are just making our way into the lobby so um till then you can see our pretty faces and call denkar handsome come on uh, you, you don't have to pick on me just because of that comment anyways <laughs> uh, i mean it, ha it has it has been uh, amazing competition throughout if you talk about the first few games that we have had uh, not even uh, you know there was no game which which went completely one sided so this is um, one of the things i'm looking forward to let's have an amazing competition today as well let's see if these teams have you know, what it takes to get a win a victory in the sky esports league anyways um, the game is starting kolkata starting on attackers if you are joining us late this is the best of 3 game where winner takes two and um, the loser either takes one or zero let's see if this will be uh, a, a two round game or a three round game i'm really expecting it to be a three, ro three round game just because of the kind of balance both these teams have but it's all about that initial momentum if, if you can get that momentum and if you can continue with that that will be amazing so are already ready to gather all the information yeah. to clear out the sides he goes in cypher also trying to you know stay on the edges stay on the top that's one thing that i like about the defenders they are trying to go for the attack not allowing the attacker side to gain that much of information that's really Really good strategy coming in from the Chennai, uh, you know, being offensive from the get-go, get you know, defense is the best attack and they are they are trying to do that. On the other hand, Kolkata, I'm looking forward to them. They are looking a little, a little, you know, uncertain where they want to go. So they still want to get that information. So, you know, it's, we, we have seen a lot of times that all the first few rounds, uh, they, they go for an all-in brawl, but I'm really liking this. Though both the teams are playing very patiently and they are waiting for the other team to make a mistake. Amazing games coming through. A uh, Knight Rider will try and try to go in and maybe I will see a dash coming in for him to get that kill. Scargot goes for that plant, very efficient plant, and he has been planting it very efficiently goes for that but what takes that takes a kill on to scar got nitro comes back up with a trade of his own uh, to put it to a 4v3 situation where kolkata is certainly on a low they, they lose another and another player goes down as we are talking about it kolkata down to one that player goes down as well and it's going to be chennai no uh, at the start of the game when i saw chennai leading from the front trying to go in uh, i kind of was sure that chennai is going to go away with the round kolkata now knows what chennai is capable of and what chennai is trying to do so i expect a very good comeback from kolkata as well in this round that is true and I mean Stoner with a 4k again a very very good play coming in but then that is something that you cannot always rely on and one thing that I really liked about the way that the retake happened um, for Chennai was that the second that Phoenix understood that the push uh, from the attackers was basically to hold off and rather not too much to um, you know play inside the they smoked it off one player went in for the defuse, which was Rafa, and then the other players just came in as body shields and prevented, uh, you know, prevented the defuse coming, uh, the, the diffuser person getting shot. So, nonetheless, Knight Rider very, very close to landing a one tap on the Cypher, I believe. 
but Shivi on the breach is going to be something that will be very interesting and will be very very influential as well. Yeah, he is going to be very influential as Snower goes in for that headshot, takes one flex, takes down another SMX is down and out as well. I guess SMX is still warming up. They need SMX to shape up Shivi, takes that kill onto flex to even out the numbers slightly, but still not enough. It's still down to a 4v3 situation. Breach very low on health. Let's see if he'll be able to come back as Chennai still high on numbers, high on health points. Is it enough to get Chennai another round? Two rounds. Uh, I mean, the first two rounds, this can be uh, the best start for Chennai right now. And if they can, uh, you know, continue with the lead, they have the capability to go away with the first round. Let's see if he'll be coming back. Astro Boy, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for joining in. I hope you'll enjoy the complete stream as Kolkata is going down bit by bit. They are down to three players. Um, that pair very low on health as well. Lord Matura taking that advantage. Taking out Shivi as well. Kolkata down to two as the locations has been revealed. And Rafa will be going in and takes down two of his own to get another round for Chennai. This has been amazing. They, they know the strategy Kolkata is coming up with. They have a very good retake coming in. As soon as one of their players goes down, they make sure that the retake is coming in. They get another uh, to even out the numbers. And after that, it has been all Chennai. Um, Kolkata, slightly slow to the start. But yeah, we saw yesterday, MW1, uh, he was not able to fire, fire up in the first round. But after that first half, it was all MW1 for, for, for Rajasthan. So I guess I, I expect the same kind of gameplay from SMX as well. Right now, you can see he, he has not done his, his part uh, in taking Kolkata up. But I expect him to step up in the next few rounds. And maybe he will be the guy who will be making a lot of difference. Well, I don't know about that. But this particular round is going to be very interesting. Now, this is a full buy versus a full buy round. So every player from Kolkata, they will be having good guns, phantoms, vandals, full shields, as well as a lot of utility. So this will be the round that if Chennai is able to take, they will land quite a big punch. And there you go, Rafa is going to start things off. Flex joining the party. SMX will unfortunately be getting the kill on Rafa. Sorry, fortunately for Kolkata yeah. will be getting the kill on Rafa with a shock dart. And that will be game over for the Phoenix as of now. But that is still going to be an advantage for Chennai in it. They still do have one man extra, not to mention they have Flex as Knight Rider has sneaked his way in, but he Ooh. got spotted by the Omen. Knight Rider gets taken out. SMX is still going to be going in for the plant and Jin with the Shock Tarts is going to be responsible to do something about it. One Shock Tart tags, but the second one does not. So a Recon Dart coming in. SMX as well as Cypher have relocated themselves. This looks like they will be looking to hold this from Garage as well as possibly from Long. No, they haven't gotten the spike off yet. So it looks like a full rotate coming in from their side as they will be looking to go to A. But Stoner is already ready with the Cypher. Flex making his way to Heaven. So this should be a little difficult for them to hold on to. There you go. The Tripwire is going to get activated. Sorry, that's the spike I'm that. As Jin knows exactly where the position of the Sova is and he comes in, gets rid of SMX. He needs to worry about the last person who is going to be coming in from B-Link and there you go. Stoner comes in and takes the final kill on White Horse. That is a third round for Chennai. You know, Chennai is certainly looking very strong right now, but I'll still not take out Kolkata from the equation just because of the fact that, you know, Kolkata has been the kind of team who has been coming back. They were on a six-round deficit against Rajasthan as well, but they came back very strongly. Then, talking about the game that we had yesterday, it was 6-1 in the first round. So, yeah, Kolkata certainly has what it takes to, to come back. But we have seen there are a lot of players who take a bit of time. Uh, they, they spend a bit of time in the middle and then they get going. So, maybe Kolkata um, will, will try to come back a little sooner. If, if, if they if they get on with that deficit, it will be very hard for, for them to come back. But I really expect them to come back very, very soon. Chennai, on the other hand, they have been pretty amazing. But it's going to be Knight Rider taking that kill. Getting that opening kill, the first pick from Kolkata, makes it a little easier for them. Again, it's going to be Flex going for that uh, op shot. But unfortunately, missing out on the opportunity. White Horse will try to move in as well. Kolkata certainly has the numbers advantage. But is it enough to take down Chennai? You are already having a three-round lead. Flex is all ready to get those shots. Unfortunately, misses out on the opportunity. Knight Rider will take down Jin. A Scar God will be coming up with that kill on Flex this time. Kolkata is going for that very efficient plant. And now it's down to a 5v2 situation which Kolkata is looking like they will come back. This is the Kolkata we have seen in the past against Rajasthan. Coming in with a comeback as Stoner will go in. Take, take, her, take out SMX um, to finally, uh, you know, weave a Chennai comeback. It's down to a 4v2 situation where it looks like it's going to be a little harder for Chennai. And the post-plant situation is already in the favor of Kolkata. But still, Kolkata will need uh, to meet the end. You know, because we have seen a lot of 4 
4v2 is coming in so maybe um that can take this game away from kolkata chennai still has the you know um, i mean they they had the numbers but they are going for the save i guess they are not going all in kolkata will go away with the round it's going to be a 3-1 but is kolkata looking to hunt down the last two players of chennai that still remains a question they have a bit of time and they are going for it well they do have the time and there you go omen gets taken yeah. out looking in the wrong direction and cipher awfully close but the timer runs out so kolkata finally have a response to what chennai has been bringing on defense i think chennai is playing pretty uh, close to what i was thinking that they would do not give away early picks except this round where rafa went in did not get a pick but nonetheless over uh, the course of the other three rounds that they have in fact won it is uh, chennai playing it a little safe so what i am really interested in seeing is that rafa does have his ultimate ready as well as night rider both of these players very very good players who can you know certainly change the outcome of the game in a moment's notice so it will be interesting how both of them decide to use their utility yeah again now flex with the operator he has been amazing will he be uh, able to get another he has his eyes set and yeah he is waiting for that um, but again chennai will try to move in kolkata has the momentum but flex takes down one is going to be scar god who is going to be on the receiving end of that operator scar god is down and out night rider comes back with one of his own to even out the numbers but is it going to be enough it's a 3-1 in the favor of chennai she be going for that planting i mean yeah that's the very efficient plant again coming in from kolkata that puts an extra bit of pressure on chennai but chennai has the numbers advantage and Siri coming in no damage done as of now but chennai certainly looking to come back they have the numbers but is it enough lord bruna he has been amazing he has been getting those kills but will he be able to do that again adraf coming in unfortunately not to do anything lord bruna gets that kill on to shivi as well smx come down takes down bhatura night rider comes in to take down rafa as well but will be jin and flex who will be doing their part for chennai to get them another round win well that was a very good retake lost two bodies took three honestly chennai looking very strong on this map of haven i don't know what happened to them against mumbai but whatever it is they have yeah. fixed it and kolkata again i don't know what ha- got into them against the map on rajasthan but whatever it was they need to make sure that they get that back because right now chennai is not looking to give away the free picks that happened in one particular round it looks like chennai just wants to play it safe they'll play the retake if needed be they will play it uh, you know just holding passive angles and it will be kolkata who will be forced to make plays now the one counter that i do think is very good is the fact that um there is a breach on this team of kolkata now breach excels at doing exactly what chennai is doing right now and breach is exactly the kind of operator that you would want in your team if a team is playing like how chennai is playing they're playing it very passive breach is very very useful in that and if they're able to use that properly they should be able to do something night rider has made his way in and stoner is completely unaware about that lord batura picks one up on to shivi but scar god is there to get the refrag so now kolkata does have the man advantage against scar god going in for the plant jin looking to make his way through garage and he will have a tough time doing that flex is still holding on to ct but he gets um smoked off a recon dart comes in gets destroyed immediately and after draft two up drafts been used there is the flash being ready and there you go rafa comes in picks one up there's one more player in that corner does he know about it is he going to check it yes he will he'll pick up that kill it's rafa all the way as the blaze wall comes in a molly is going to get dropped as well he's going to go in for the defuse the wall bangs are comes hitting awfully close there you go smx finally connects as rafa is going to fall i mean there was not really too many uh options for rafa he had to go in for that defuse he was not going to survive too long there was one more player coming in from garage but um again a very good retake strategy unfortunately just didn't work out in their favor i mean rafa was amazing in that round specifically finally he is starting to get in the game he is starting to get up the pace but unfortunately the numbers were not in their favor i'm really liking this retake coming in from kolkata as well and they are trying to you know uh, decrease this deficiency as quickly as possible they are not delaying it too much um, i mean the, the haven that they won uh, i mean it was 17 15 so um, at one point kolkata had a point deficit of 6 point deficit so they have the capability to come back but still they wouldn't want to be in the same situation because miracle 
miracles they don't happen often uh, that's why they are miracles anyways kolkata will try to move in it's going to be the all round coming in from the uh, smx let's see if he'll be able to spot out a few players or not chennai uh, i can see jet a bit low on health um, i guess kolkata is starting to get that edge over to the player i'm um, women trying to go in as well it's going to be scar god going for the a plant cypher still in the mid region trying to create some separation maybe trying to get a kill or two but it's going to be knight rider coming with that kill on rafa shuts it now really early in this game rafa had the kind of game uh, if you talk about the last round it would have been very very fatal for team kolkata but it's going to be flex finally his operator is going to you know working as well he gets that uh, he gets the job done for his team jin comes up for the kill on scar god but it's going to be smx this is the guy i was talking about he takes down two it's going to be shivy white house to end the proceedings for kolkata and get them another round a good, very good retake coming in from kolkata chennai uh, i mean the starting rounds were very good but now they are losing the pace they need to again buckle up and again put the brakes on kolkata that is true and white horse played this very smart came in from the back it was not needed but nonetheless if he um oh there you go he picked up the last skill in fact so a very good flank coming in from the cypher and that has honestly smart play from kolkata exactly um what i was saying so chennai is looking to play it passive but then playing passive does have its own disadvantages and that is stoner playing it too aggressive and getting taken out with I the breach concussion coming in scar god oh, not wow. stopping a second bit oh he's going to god. pick up two people omen does get a refrag but at this oh, oh. he's going to pick up another one of his own his position now called out there's one plunk player coming in from garage maybe that is going to give away his position and oh my god this man is unstoppable on the sheriff a 3k for him single handedly removed every single player who was holding this on but he's Shivi. not going to be able to do that again shivi picks one up but white horse is going to be the person who has the last laugh a very good play coming in from lord batura but not enough and scar god i don't know what got into him walked into site picked two of the most important players that were there the jet and the phoenix and that was complete side control for team kolkata so kolkata showing us that if chennai wants to have a particular play style they are able to counter strat them and if chennai wants to you know get these rounds the last remaining four rounds that are going to be there they have to make sure that they figure something out i mean i guess batura is the change chennai needed um they they lost the first round and uh, i mean the first game that they had but uh, batura has been coming in and they, they, they he has been the kind of guy who he was getting them those initial kills uh, to give chennai the advantage let's see if he'll be able to continue till the end because it, if it happens it's going to be very hard for kolkata to come back but the last few rounds they have gone in kolkata's favor chennai had a very good lead but unfortunately they have not been able to continue with the same kind of game play they started uh, in 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 an attacking fashion but they uh, as the round went on i guess they they turned into a more defensive a favor team as as tricks i guess it was who got that kill lord batura again looking for some more frags let's see if he'll be able to take down a few players or not kolkata down to four just because of that first kill but scar god will even out the numbers amazing amazing gameplay coming in from scar god he has been very very efficient he has been very very patient going into this kill knight rider comes up with his own oh my god through the smokes gets another skill to be scar god getting another vessel as well 2k coming in from both the players smx goes for the plant the plant has been done jet remains as the only player from chennai but i don't think it's going to be enough as kolkata still they still have four players standing post plan situation it it certainly looks like kolkata is going to go away with another round that certainly looks like the case he does have flex does have four bullets in his op and those are more than enough to get the kills that he needs but at get the same time way. you have to be facing an automatic weapon now he should he is definitely going in oh. for the save scar god not checking that angle flex is going to be safe for the time being but is he going to be able to do that for much Hunters. longer so it is going to be interesting as flex does oh. have one more player oh. crossing him he's going to miss the oh, no. shot and 5 seconds he's going to dash himself into oh. the explosion of the spike unfortunate flex that oh boy that is a big f indeed come on i mean I mean that was all done, but very, very, very unfortunate. I would say the last second. Um, I, I mean, he he went for the tailwind, but he he wasn't able to go too far. But you know, uh, the the pair of Scar God and SMX coming in. 
I mean, this is again the cutthroat competition that we saw yesterday. It's happening again today. I guess my throat is going to go away looking at the kind of competition, looking the, at the kind of gameplay that is being shown by both of the teams. Again, Kolkata trying to edge towards victory because of the advantage that they have. But Chennai also not looking to give it away. They are also fighting back very, very strongly. Harsh and Hasagi, thank you so much for coming in. Todos, welcome to the stream as well. If I pronounce anyone's name wrong, I'm very sorry for that. But it's going to be Kolkata trying to move in. Uh, they are still uncertain where they want to go but I guess uh, the defensive side they are also uncertain where the game is going to go but Rafa comes up he takes down SMX but Shivi will be coming in, coming in with the retake this has been amazing from both the teams the retakes have been coming in very quickly Shivi takes down another Stoner goes down as well it's down to a 4v3 switch and where Breach is very low on health Shivi very low on health will be able to come back it proves highly improbable because if you look at the Chennai side they still have 3 players up and running at full health let's see if they will be able to come back with the numbers advantage as they are denied that by Knight Rider Knight Rider takes down Jin Chennai down to 2 is it going to be Kolkata all over Again, will they be going for the plant? It's going to be Flex trying to go in just because, you know, he had the operator in the last game, but those last few seconds, they, they costed him too much as he will try to fall back. Anyways, again, um, Kolkata looking to hunt down the players of Chennai. It's going to be a B plant, a C plant actually. Uh, I'm pretty sure, but let's see if, what they are trying to do. Yeah, they are going for the plant. Uh, Scar God will be going in. Uh, Chennai players finally trying to make a move, but uh, I don't think they have enough numbers to, to get that round away from Kolkata. That is true. And one thing that I really like about the way Kolkata is playing this, that in a man advantage, instead of brute forcing their way into a site, they are looking to play this smart. As Shivi comes in, picks up a 3k, it is going to be another round for Kolkata. So, I'll say that the way Kolkata keeps their man advantage by making sure that the defenders keep guessing which yeah. site they want to go in. Like, for example, we saw that the Jet was confused whether the Cypher yeah. is going to push further mm -hmm. or not. But in fact, he just gave his position and then rotated completely back to his team. So that is very smart. Flex has picked up the op again. So we should be seeing some good action and something that... Um, I'm seeing on Kolkata is that they do not want to run the operator and that is pretty um, surprising because a lot of these teams with the kind of economy that Kolkata has right yeah. now yeah, yeah, would yeah. like to invest in an operator. Yeah, but but I think they are getting the job done. Um, with, with I mean, with the guns yeah. they have, phantoms coming in as well. So I think they don't want to risk it too much. They have been pretty amazing. I guess you know if you talk about the jet, uh, I mean on the on the Chennai side, he had I mean it was Flex I guess who got the operator. It's it's um, you know it is making him a bit passive. Uh, if if he had some other gun, we would have seen him go a lo lot more, um, you know, active and a lot more aggressive than we are seeing him right now. So operator is kind of a double edged sword. If you connect a few shots, that's very good. But if you're not able to connect and if you're not getting that information that you require, um, then then you know it, it can cut you down as well. So that's that's what happening. That's what's happening with the sticks right now. But it's going to be soon taking out Knight Rider to finally give that man advantage to Chennai. Amazing gameplay coming in from this guy as well. Let's see if he'll be able to continue uh, with the same kind of performance and if he'll be able to get another for his team. A lot of phantoms coming in from the Chennai sides as well. Scar got trying to move in. It's going to be a one v one. A lot of tools will be coming in because I see it uh, too much split coming in from both the uh, both the teams. But Kolkata, I can see them certainly move towards left. the other side. They, they, I guess they committed to it, but then they started to move in as they lost out on a player. They want to um, put, you know, Chennai uh, in, in doubt, but they only have 20 more seconds left. And when when the clock is ticking on you, you go for those moves that, that certainly don't go in your, in your favor. Hunter's Fury coming in. Scarbot will take down Flex. And this is what I'm talking about, you know. Uh, they are getting the job done with Phantom and Vandal. So they don't require that operator if they're, if they're winning the game. Again, Jin goes for that shot. She will, he will be taken down. Hatula comes up with that shot as well on Scarbot. It's going to be Chennai. Fine. Finally coming with those retakes and Kolkata is down and out in this round. Well, there you go. Stoner has picked up the operator that was dropped uh, by Flex. So a much, much needed round. Stoner starting the round off very strong. And then after that, there was just not enough manpower on the side of Kolkata to lock that particular round out. But nonetheless, last round before the swap, five to six. Either way that this goes, Chennai will possibly have to play it a lot smarter on attack than what uh, the later half of their defensive rounds have been. I mean, in the initial parts, they were very, very strong. There was no comeback from Kolkata. There was no reply for them. But after that, Kolkata slowly got back into their stride, figured out what Chennai wanted to do. And then it became a lot more easier for Chennai. Uh, sorry, a lot more easy, difficult for Chennai to keep the rounds that they want to keep. And there you go, Rolling Thunder comes in. Breach is going to be the player that I was talking. There you go, Scar God walks in, picks up one. Some wall banks coming in through that smoke, but they are not going to matter.
a Knight Rider going to be the player in the heat of the action. He's going to pick uh, the Cloud Burst and there you go. The updraft comes in. He has one player on Heaven and one on A-Link as well. But will the peak be coming in from the fl from Jet? No, Shivy is oh. going to put an end to him through a wall bang as Jin is going to get one on the Knight Rider. There you go. Stoner picks one onto Scar God as well. The spike has been planted. The 3v3. Both these Jet as well as the Omen have been flashed. And now this is going to be a retake situation for them. They have whittled down some time. But everyone is going to be on site. And Neural Theft is going to come out. This is not going to help Kolkata. But White House picks up a kill nonetheless. Lord. Vatura picks up two. Shivi picks one up, and now it's going to be a 1v1. Who's going to win this? It's going to be Shivi. And there you go. It is a 3k for the beach. The player who started the round off with the Rolling Thunder helped get the kill on Rafa. Is going to be the person who finishes it off for this team of Kolkata. Chennai 5, Kolkata 7. And yeah, Shivi is definitely looking like a different guy today. I mean, he was on and off. Uh, he had his ups and downs in the first game. But today, he has been turning the game upside down in his team's favor. I mean, the way Chennai started the round, it was looking like it would go in Chennai's favor. But Kolkata coming back very strongly with those retakes and with those kills. It was amazing. All the players standing out. Scar God coming up on the top as well. Knight Rider, one of the top fraggers. He, he got a lot of kills in the initial phases when Kolkata was not doing so well. So one of those guys who can come up. But Lord Bhatura this guy has been amazing i mean um the kills he has been taking the, the 2ks the 3ks coming in for him certainly has helped chennai make a mark but still not enough two rounds of visit for chennai the switch has happened but is this switch going to help uh, chennai or is it going to be kolkata going away with the victory in the first round itself i mean chennai they, they have they won first round against mumbai as well but they were not able to continue as shivi will spot another guy uh, it was going to be jen who's going to go out shivi very good with his retakes trying to go in uh, again he has got that kill he has done his part. Let's see if the support will be coming in. Stoner going for the plant. A very efficient plant coming in from Chennai. Lord Bhattura. This guy has been amazing. Over the top. Again, Knight Rider trying to come back with that retake. retake. Lord Bhattura is down and out as well. It's down to a 4v3 situation where Kolkata certainly looks like they have the edge. But still, they're unaware of the fact that a complete uh, army from the Chennai side is going for a C plant. They are still uncertain where the plant is going to happen. Finally, I guess Kolkata will start to make their move. They are very far away from the plant side. They will try to move in as as possible yes the retake is coming in for the from them they have the numbers advantage they have they will have the angles they need it is going to be a one event between white horse and strong it's going to be white horse going away with the victory he got that elimination really quickly and now it's down to a four, 3v2 situation cypher very low on health but will he get the job done chennai still has tricks on their side this guy has the potential to come back but it's going to be lord white horse getting another forest team rava goes out down to a 3-1 but i was talking about flex he's back he takes down my trader he gets another but it's going to be shivy putting an end to flex and we'll go for the diffuse as well. Well, Shivi is certainly proving to be a lot more of a problem to deal with for Chennai than initially anticipated. And I mean, he's on the breach, a very, very strong operator. And on top of that, he is having a great day in game. So Flex, again, a very, I would say, um, very close to getting the two people lining up. But unfortunately for him, the frenzy just not able to do that. Nonetheless, it is going to be a big win for Kolkata because the more rounds that they are going to get from here, the more pressure is going to start building on Team Chennai. And once that pressure starts getting to your head, you will see unnecessary peaks, you will see loss of utility, you will see a lot more things. But Omen Ooh, is unfortunately my. too busy to get the paranoia out. He does not pay attention, but the backstab oh comes in. Knight happening? Rider is going to pick up one, but Jin is there for the refrag. And now Team Chennai has picked up some guns on the back of the players that they have taken out from Team Kolkata. So, a Spectre, I believe two Spectres being picked up by Chennai. So, this is going to help them quite a bit. They'll have some Come manpower, they'll have some gun uh, gun power to help them take the gunfights that they're going to be taking. But nonetheless, Kolkata in the disadvantage. They'll have to play this out passive. But more importantly, Chennai needs to decide which site they are going to be uh, attacking. I mean, if they go for B, that doesn't seem like the right choice. Uh, if, you, if you look at the Kolkata side, they have their defenders all over the map. So they'll have a lot more angles and they'll be coming in. Spike has been planted. Um, SMX takes down Batura to get his team an advantage. Still a 3v3 fight. Cypher very low on health. Taken down by Whitehouse. Whitehouse has been amazing. He takes down another. He takes down Jin as well. But Flex, he's coming back as well. He has taken Bad down SMX down to a 2 situation where Flex takes another. It's going to be Shivy who's going to go down and out. Tailwind coming in again from Flex. Will he be able to do a 1v1? Both the players are very 
very low on health goes for the diffuse unfortunately not able to get that done again going for the diffuse he is calling him out is he going to come out yes he is going to come out and it's going to be white horse going away with that 3k to get his team another win white horse oh boy how is he playing i mean the last round as well he was one of the anchors of the game uh, he took the game away uh, from the opponents and again you know stepping up when it was needed the most over even situation flex was amazing he was having that kind of confidence and he also knew that he, he doesn't have to peek too much if he peeks too much white horse certainly will be taking him away but you know amazing gameplay coming in from that guy again to take another round for kolkata well as some as adi has pointed out it was 2 hp on um white horse i mean half a bullet more a sneeze more it would have been a different story but chennai again now they do have the option of going in for the full by flex going to get full flashed he will uh still be safe though so i am i mean at this point i st i'm still waiting for rafa to show up he is uh he has been very influential but still yeah. he needs to make sure that he is able to get the kills that he usually does and there you go a trade coming in for night rider between stoner as well uh, so equal man advantage scar god with the bulldog i mean a gun that i'll personally like quite a bit i don't know if it is going to be playing very well in this quick rafa is going to spot one player in spot one more and pick up oh two my. there you go rafa has finally showed up for the match and there you go he's going to heal himself up a curve ball is going to be coming in he will make sure that no one is going to be coming in from b link there you go the spike is also going to get planted by jin and now this is going to be an interesting retake for team kolkata do 4v2 flex staying inside garage he can peek any second now shivi with the specter a very good gun for close range potential but will he be able to do something about it against these two players no he'll get spotted out jin does get one he'll get taken out by smx smx has spotted the second player which is going to be rafa but flex is coming in from the back as well he has to worry about two players as maybe even three a fake diffuse comes in 10 bullets in the mag will he be able to do this the peek is going to be coming in from flex any second the push comes in the vandal is not going to be connecting smx is still going to win that he has has four bullets left does he go in for the reload no but lord batura comes in from the long and peeks him and smx will not have a reply for that so a very very good round uh, coming in from that man but unfortunately a little too less for him and his team as chennai is going to finally pick up a round in their full by phase I mean Rafa coming back in form is certainly good for Chennai and it it showed in the gameplay the well constructed team again coming up Chennai with that round makes it a 3 point deficit they are starting to come up and you know Rafa is the kind of player uh, he takes a bit of time uh, to to get going but when he gets going it's it's very difficult to stop him and you know it's very important for Chennai when Rafa is not uh, you know at his best then other players need to step up as well and this happened in the first few rounds that we saw but finally it's all coming down flex takes down SMX as well SMX the star of the last game going very early in this one stone takes down one as well as chennai looking on a very different level after the switch they have taken down i guess two rounds but the comeback is coming in the retake will be coming in it's going to be another shot coming in from flexi takes down shivi as well the star of the day white horse takes down another flex is going back rafa takes down white horse as well it's down to a 4v1 situation where it looks highly unlikely that human is going to make the play but yeah let's see if he can get a kill or two well there you go chennai certainly looking very very strong and stoner picks up the last kill the end of elder flame animation comes in on scar god's body as chennai is looking to do damage control right now so two rounds between both these teams 9 to 7 is going to be the score favoring kolkata i think that chennai has figured out what they want to do but then again kolkata is not a team that will continue to do the same thing again and again and oh okay sky god why do you have to get my hopes up i thought that you were going to pick the odin but then you sold it to get a full shield and a phantom why would you do that just play the odin and this time uh, they are certainly going to go for the operator night rider coming in with that operator pick and i guess it's it's going to be flex on the other side who took that let's see um, who is going to be helped more by that pick night rider trying to go in trying to get that initial kill but is he going to peak too much to go out it's still a 5v5 situation no initial kills coming up both the teams are trying to take it a little bit patiently trying to gain some more information as kolkata's jet is very very low on health down to a very few hp let's see if he'll be able to come back 
as Kolkata will try to move in, will try to retain their five men um, that they have right now. But Chennai also trying to, you know, get more and more information so they can um, go for a certain plant. They are still very uncertain, trying to move in, trying to get that initial kill. Rafa has certainly been the type of player you would want on your side and who, who gets you those initial kills to get things going for your team. This has been a strat a very good strategy coming in from Chennai. Kolkata, uh, certainly, um, you know, they have put up a very good show as well. But I'm, I'm really liking the how the game is turning out to be. I mean, both the teams um, making very good comebacks. First, is, it was Kolkata uh, who were on a deficit. Then they came back and now it's Chennai uh, getting those two rounds, um, reducing that four-point deficit to two as for Chennai will start to move in. I guess this is going to be a B plan from them. Can they get that initial kill that they desperately want? On the other side, we have a few players coming in from the A side as well. Rafa will try to go in, going to take that kill. Lord Bhutura planting and that was a very efficient plan coming in from him. A little bit too late, but yeah, uh, plant going in. Post plant situation certainly looks in Kolkata's favor. That number is planted. SMX takes down two of the players. Rafa coming up again to take down SMX. Rafa is certainly doing it for his team as Whitehorse comes up and shuts down Rafa. Down to a 3v2 situation where Kolkata has the numbers advantage. But is it going to be the Chennai going to go away with the victory as he was going for that diffuse? But it's going to be Whitehorse again coming back with a very good review. A flick flex comes in as well, takes down Whitehorse. A lot of shots coming in, a lot of retakes coming in. But at the end, it's going to be Kolkata who are going to go away with the round. I mean, certainly, if you, if you look at the start of the round, the initial initial start was very good from Chennai. But the way uh, Kolkata side took a retake, the way SMX took that 2K uh, to, to actually come back in the game, that was amazing. And I guess that was the turning point in this game. That is true. And something that I would really like to point out, B-side on Haven, um, if you really want to get away with the post plant, um, you know, it is going to be... Um, you'll need to have control on both sides you need to have ailing control you need to have ceiling control you need to have some kind of courtyard control the courtyard presence was established but unfortunately the a and the ceiling control was not kept um, by team chennai and that is where i think that they made the mistakes rafa going to eat a headshot through the wall he'll survive that simply based on the fact that it was through a wall and not a direct clean headshot but nonetheless he will still be alive and kicking he has he healed himself up he is now aware about the omen playing inside garage or in close proximity to it and that is going to be i mean unfortunate for him but he needs to make sure that he is there for his team and pick up the runs because three round deficit kolkata they are almost looking to run away with it and now it is chennai's position to get a retake or oh, sorry a comeback yeah, I mean, they, they'll have to do it. I mean, if it, it will be too late if Kolkata goes away with this round as well. I mean, the plans from Kol Chennai, they, they have been a, a bit slower. But yeah, it has been working for them in the last few rounds. Kolkata certainly took the last round uh, very efficiently. Whitehorse, a lot of players coming in on him. It will be Rafa who will be coming out on top. Getting that kill onto Whitehorse. Again, gets the advantage in Chennai's favor. But is it enough? Will they be able to clutch it? It's going to be Lord Bhatura stepping up again. Getting that kill onto Knight Rider down to a 5v3 situation. It looks like there are no threats to be found for Chennai. Stone are going for the plant as well. Again, in the last few seconds, into to be Flex trying to take the game away from Kolkata. Shivi, Scar Shivi takes down two. Oh my god, this guy is on another level today. He takes down two. SMX coming back, one of his own. And now Kolkata down to one. Breach has done it in the past. He has done a 1v2, but he is a little low on health. But is it enough to take down the last two players of Chennai? Stone um, you know, takes him down. Uh, puts an end to all the speculations that we were making and it's going to be Chennai certainly coming back very strongly and we are again down to a two points deficit let's see what happens Kolkata you know that that start they had it was good but Chennai I mean the the, the takes that they are coming with the the fight that they are showing it's amazing coming in uh, from Chennai side as well it, it's going to go right down the wire you know whatever happens in the next few rounds it doesn't matter but the way both these teams are playing the way they have shown the courage the potential they have I mean, I'm, 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 I'm very happy with the kind of gameplay that is, it, it, it is turning out to be. That is true. And Rafa, he has certainly started to, you know, show up for a lot more rounds. There, He spotted the Omen, I believe. He is wary about that peak coming in. But right now, this should be a round that Chennai definitely should be taking. They do have the better guns. They do have the better economy. And they should make this work. There you go. Flex almost gets spotted out. The shots will not connect from either one of these players. And he will look to fall back and play this for a different site uh, as Chennai look to change the way that they want to push. It looks like this is going to be an A-side push. Omen making his way in, but 
oh okay so kolkata is playing this very smart they know that they do not have the guns but they can keep the man advantage and they are going in for a five man backstab flex should be able to get the first pick but will he get overwhelmed by players his gun barrel might just get spotted out he's going to pick up omen he will he get a second one he will get a third and that is a complete slaughter in front of ct sorry t spawn oh my god kolkata they tried it did not work out but nonetheless chennai oh get my. around and that was very good game wow. sense by whoever made that call between stoner and flex and that is amazing umer thank you so much for joining in again and i'm um, i'm very good as you can see but yeah as you said the match is getting intense and intense with every passing round with 19 rounds on the board it's just one point that separates the two teams so that shows you the kind of confidence these teams are coming up with this that shows you the kind of fights they are putting in let's see who gets the initial pick who gets the first pick to put his team at an advantage is it going to be scar god who has been getting the job done from the first few rounds he will he be able to do that again a lot of utility is coming through let's see what happens afa trying to take a few shots through the smokes unfortunately not able to connect any last time we saw a complete five man push coming in from kolkata unfortunately that didn't work because chennai was expecting that they heard it they came in and it was them taking away the round they came they fought they conquered but will they be able to do that again as it's going to be night rider looking for an opportunity to use that operator i mean in the in the next in the last round flex was not able to put it to good use and finally he has changed it's going to be night rider who is going to take that opportunity to put that operator to good use but will he be able to take a few players off the other side down or is he going to be shut down we'll have to wait for that stoner trying to go in as when well. smx has been the kind of player we have been um, waiting to see oh, but it's going to be smx yeah he is coming up he mm. takes that kill on to stoner and again gives that man advantage to kolkata will oh, it be chennai coming back even with a man disadvantage it's going to be kolkata trying to go a uh, fight back trying to go uh, with this round without any threat White Horse takes another flex is down and out as well. Hunter's very coming. Scarborough takes down uh, Lord Batura. SMX takes down two as well. A three K coming in for from him and another round going to Kolkata. But still, if you look at the difference, it's just two points that separates the two team. And we can see Chennai coming back. Well, flex he had the right idea, but it just did not work out. And SMX two kills with the Hunter's Fury. A three K in total showing up. dominantly in that round and i mean look at the look at the kill 16 16 14 13 10 while on the other side of chennai it is 19 15 15 13 and 9 so a lot more of an even uh, split between the teammates of kolkata not so much for chennai but then you can always expect one player to show up much more than the other and something that is really surprising is that scar god on defense he is a lot more tame he is not having those explosive picks that he was having on attack but i think that yeah. is not going to matter because he is still able to show up for his team lord batura goes in rafa is going to come in with the run it back will he pick up a kill no he will not he'll get taken out but he has picked up a lot of intel as well as wasted a lot of the cypher cage stoner is going to pick one on to white horse as lord batura has also made his way in stoner going to set up a spy camp for himself and now this retake coming in from ct is going to hit him with the fault line he their position is known he will survive another one as omen goes in for the teleport so this is going to be a complete long side control and if rafa is able to successfully get this control on towards garage or b side no this looks to be a save coming in from kolkata and this might just be dangerous no smx oh. is going to come in he'll pick up rafa he is very very aware about his surroundings and that clearly shows in the peaks that he is going to go in for i think what really forced kolkata to go in for the save was the fact that stoner used his uh, neural uh, neural theft and that gave away the position of every single player now he is actually at literally 1 hp but jin is also coming in from long this is like a hunter's fest everyone is ready to go in for the picks but no one wants to commit to it and there you go chennai pick up a round kolkata 10 sorry kolkata 11 chennai 10 but it looks like nothing can be called just yet yeah nothing can be called just yet thank you so much pratham for the help and yeah that's the main reason but you know one point separating the two teams chennai is certainly looking to come back it's looking very close and you know it's cold in delhi a little cold but i'm sweating right now because of the intensity of the game it's getting you know with every other round it's getting heated and heated but will it be chennai if, if it's chennai who gets this round 
you know it it cannot get any closer like but what? anyways we'll have to see we'll have to wait for that as chennai trying to wait on on the opponents kolkata still a uh, five men standing it's it's going to be a 3-2 split coming in from them they're still try, trying to read what chennai is up to but i can see a complete rotation coming in from the jet let's see if he'll be able to take down a few players will it be a jet versus jet or a jet versus woman in a few moments as night rider looking for that opportunity to take down a few players as soon as the peak comes in he will be up and going he will be trying to go for that kill but still both the teams are taking it very patiently patiently not trying to give away anything but the comebacks i mean yesterday as well the comebacks were unreal uh, astro boy wasn't it like and today as well the comeback which is coming in from chennai kolkata had the initial lead but chennai is not letting them off the hook they are trying to come back as quickly as possible down to one round deficit that chennai has will they be able yeah, to make it come true but again it's it's all about that initial kill if rafa can come up with one or maybe uh, some other player but yeah rafa we were talking about him he takes down shivi one of the biggest threats in team kolkata and he takes him out and stone are going for the plant as well a very efficient plant coming in from the players of chennai they are still five men up and running they have the number advantage they have post plant going in their favor but will they be able to take it away from kolkata will it be an 11 11 at the end chennai certainly looking very strong rafa trying to make the play here flex goes for that operator as well he takes down white horse is going to be chennai leading the numbers right now it's a 5v3 situation rafa will try to go in he will try to get another for his team he has already got um uh, one one kill but is it enough uh, to get chennai a victory kolkata is looking for a fall back here they are trying to move out of the way of chennai and i, and I guess it's again going to be an 11 11 after 22 rounds there is nothing that separates the two team that is true stoner is going to pick one up but unfortunately picks pill oh my god pulls out the classic at the wrong time and gets taken out so night rider is going to pick one up but the op is going to get dropped lord but i think he did get the final kill lord butura through the wall but look at this Rafa just walking in he picked up one kill i think and that was it but the sole uh, you know the sole purpose of him going in was to get side control get the spike down and protect it for the time that he could stay alive and he did that perfectly so rafa not having the positive kd not being that positive kd god that we have seen him be but nonetheless he is still going to be showing up when it is needed the most flex holding on to a very strong angle any peak coming in from any very defender will be an end to their match time on this particular round but it looks like night rider will be playing this very aggressive as well and i think he has spotted the barrel he might just decide to go in for a wall bang for jin but that will be risking giving away his position he'll try to bait the orb and there you go gets the bait uh, peak coming in from jin takes him out no problem whatsoever and now rafa is certainly going to be worried about crossing this angle because he look i mean it's a short distance but i pretty sure he knows what kind of a short night rider is he's going to go in oh my god what a peak coming in rafa you're not allowed to do that he's going to pick one more up the curve ball goes in stoner is also looking to make his way in rafa has certainly showed up big and strong stoner's position does get spotted out he'll get taken out from heaven there you go but his job has already been done he has got the spike down as rafa will be looking to play this a little differently blaze wall comes in he'll get hit with the paranoia and he has changed sides with white horse he'll get that kill and now it's all down to the lone omen in a 1v2 he is going to use some dark shadows to cut off lines of sight for him but he'll get counter smoked off he looks to make a drop he'll get the first kill onto rafa that is a very very good shot coming in the bait diffuse comes in but scar god does not know where the other omen is going to be no footsteps given away by lord batura and this is very very smart from the other roman scar god will have to give away his position oh. and there you go lord batura picking up the last kill with the phantom a very very smart Match play coming point. in from all three players in the clutch rafa as well as scar god and lord batura but at the end of the day it was team chennai who prevailed i mean chennai coming back very strongly in this game at at one point of time we were thinking maybe chennai is out of the game but they have certainly proved you know it's not over until it's over chennai coming back and they they find they have finally got a lead which was much needed for them it is going to be a confidence boost for chennai coming into this round let's see if kolkata can come back with a fight back here operator play was very good coming in from the chennai side let's see if they will be able to repeat that uh, we had this kind of intense game play yesterday as well and the same 
being being repeated today shows you the kind of you know the work that is being put by all the players going in again Chennai trying to move in as quickly as possible the plants have been very efficient coming in from them as soon as they get a chance they, they go in and put that extra bit of pressure on to Kolkata Kolkata has been very good on defense but in the last few rounds Chennai has certainly looked better and now they will be trying to use that to their advantage again um, I mean if you look at Chennai they are still a little bit uncertain where they want to go uh, but but if you look at Kolkata they, they are looking very very much ready uh, for what uh, is going to come anyways uh, I'm, I'm expecting a five man push coming in from Chennai they will certainly try to do that but will it work in their favor Cypher is still acting as a wall against the Chennai's players again Bladestorm will be coming in uh, from uh, the jet but is it enough to get Kolkata another round it's down to a 12-11 where you know if Chennai can go away with this round it's all over again a flex with that operator he has been getting the job done in the last few rounds uh, in the first half he was not as good but in this half I mean we were talking about that and he shows up Flex takes a kill onto Knight Rider to give his team a much needed advantage again no one even coming through Rafa has been winning all his duels but this time Rafa will be taking out White Horse as well Jet again ready Flex is very much ready for what is to come uh, in front of him Chennai certainly has the man advantage and the post plan situation is certainly looking in their favour oh. and Flex going for that peak Scar God will come in and will take him out to, to give a ray of hope to Kolkata which was much needed at this point can they get another? Can he come up? Yes, he gets another. It's going to be Scarbot taking out Stone as well. It's down to a 3v3 situation. Scarbot, Scarbot is getting the job done for his team. Shivi takes down one as well. And Kolkata is certainly making a comeback here. It's down to a 2v2 where Jin will get both of the players from the Kolkata side. Down to a 1v2. Chennai still looking higher numbers. But Shivi, this man is coming back very strongly. He takes down Rafa. He's going for that defuse. And it looks like he will be certainly doing it. But it's still down to a 1v1. What is going to come in? Shivi goes for that. Oh, no. No, Jin coming out on top gets that 1v1 in his favor and it's going to be Chennai going away with the round. Well, I mean, what a comeback by Team Chennai. They were down at the split, they were down at the middle and they, I mean, they have certainly made it work and a very, very good effort coming in from Kolkata on this last round. Three man come, uh, three, three versus five post plant, they're definitely not going to be easy, let alone when it is going to be a long plant and you have three people to deal with inside sight and one Hunter's Fury coming in from long. But again, what a play coming in from this team of Chennai. They completely, I mean, look at that. SMX sitting at the top, not a very high kill leaderboard for any one of these players. But look at the consistency that every single player has. 12 being the minimum, but yeah. 18 being, sorry, 21 being the highest. So a very um, balanced performance. Every single player showing up. No one player was a god or something in one round uh, throughout the game. But there were moments of brilliance from every single player. There were times when Rafa was completely shut down. Times when he showed up. There was times when Scar got showed up. There were times when he got shut down. Shivi, certainly two, three rounds where he was shining was definitely something that was a moment to behold because that was such a good play coming out from both of these teams. 13-11, that is going to hurt Kolkata a lot. That will yeah. sting them quite a bit, in fact, because they had the advantage. Unfortunately, they were not able to make... Uh, make do of it some uh, the way that they wanted to do it but nonetheless it is team chennai who take the first map with the score of 13 to 11. I mean, Kolkata certainly had the lead. They were looking very strong. And at one at one point, we thought maybe Kolkata is going to go away with the round. But, you know, the, the retake from China, it was amazing. And it's very good that, you know, all the players are, st are stepping up today. As you said, um, in, in some games, we had Flex taking away those rounds. And Rafa was certainly good. Not in the first few rounds, but after that, it was all Rafa. SMX also, you know, joining the party, getting those kills. And as you told, told about that, you know, the uniform distribution of the kills, that shows you that everyone is doing bit. Uh, everyone is doing his bit and uh, it all comes down to that team game i mean the score line if you look at it it shows you how close um the game game got i mean you know it, it would have been anyone's game it, it it's just about those one or two rounds and sometimes things don't go in your way but uh, it was certainly a close competition just like yesterday i mean yesterday was 
a great day and today it's turning out to be even greater day i mean every day we we have some surprises and today is uh, one of those days where, where we are being surprised in every other round a, win, a round is being taken by kolkata then we have chennai coming back in some other round then uh, you know kolkata coming back with two but chennai coming back with three then kolkata getting a four point lead but it was not enough chennai uh, did their bit and they came back very strongly to go away with the first round and they 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 have given them um, an initial advantage which is which is certainly going to help them going into the second round but again they did the same thing against mumbai first round went in their way but they were not able to do so in the second and third round so i really expect that they have got you know you know they have they have um, you know taken those errors and they have fixed it so that they can come back in the second game because they really need to win this kolkata already has a win so even if they lose this one it's still not that kind of pressure which is going to be on chennai if if they lose this one i mean they are going to have zero points from two games and you certainly wouldn't want that if you are if you are going in a tournament where you have to play six games in total so um, i guess uh, a, a pressure was on chennai side but with the first round in um i don't think that it's going to be that much of pressure on them and i guess they are going to come back very strongly and i'm, I'm really looking forward to a three round three round game here because if you look at the competition it was cut through right from the start till the end we we had only even after the 21 rounds we had only one point difference between the two teams so that shows you how much of a competition uh, it is turning out to be so i'm really looking forward to the next few rounds and let's hope for a three round game here that is definitely true a three map game between both of these teams will be something that um will honestly drain us but it will be very very interesting because after what we have seen on haven i am honestly very 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 excited for the next uh, map that we will be seeing between both of these teams because um kolkata they showed us that they can counter strat chennai chennai showed us that they can counter strat kolkata and when you have two teams that go at each other the way both of these do- both of these have done i mean for for all that we care it could just be that uh, one one kill separating between uh, uh, kolkata and chennai going to overtime i mean maybe if they had four players they would have been able to provide a cover uh, for the breach defusing yeah. and maybe shivi could have done that because he did go in for the half defuse and then got taken out when the peak came in from long so maybe if they had a backstab coming in for the uh, sova that was at long on jin if they had cover for uh, shivi it could have been a completely different picture but nonetheless it happened it is done Kolkata can't do anything about it. Chennai is definitely going to be very, very happy about it. Though they will be looking to maybe reduce the number of rounds with which Kolkata was defeated, thirteen to eleven. That's really cutting it really, really close. So if you are Team Chennai and you are a supporter of Team Chennai, you would definitely be looking forward to them possibly taking a bigger uh, margin when they do take the win. But if you are Team Kolkata's fan and you are Team Kolkata, then you need to make sure. that um you figure out what chennai does good and what chennai doesn't do as good and possibly look to hurt them a lot more on the things that they do not do as well and yeah and both the teams now know the strengths and the weakness on both the sides and uh, we saw that happening i mean when kolkata was coming back they were very quick to read on to chennai strategy but when kolkata was uh, doing good i mean it was the same thing coming in from chennai as well so that's why we we saw a lot of rounds um, you know going to and fro one round going to um, chennai and then another going to kolkata so yeah it it did happen uh, let's see if if the second round will be coming up with this kind of gameplay or will it be a one sided game uh, because if 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 one of these team if they can put that extra bit of pressure if they can get a four five point lead and then if there's others other other side starts to crumble maybe uh, we'll see you know the other team going going back but for the second round we'll have to wait for a few more seconds and we'll be back after a short little break Ladies and gentlemen, swagat hai aap sabka Unmask with Sky Sports mein. And today we have some amazing guests coming in, representing Team Kolkata and God like the owner Kronton Shivi, the IGL Sky God, the captain. Swagat hai aap sabka Unmask with Sky Sports mein. Hello guys, what's up? Hello. Thank you, Spiro, for having us. You know, it's our pleasure to be honest. तो क्रोंटन भाई ये सवाल आपसे बहुत बार लोगों ने पूछा होगा बट आई यू नो नो द आंसर्स अगेन सो व्हाट वाज द आइडिया बिहाइंड स्टार्टिंग गॉड लाइक एंड एज वी नो गॉड लाइक इज करेंटली वन ऑफ द इंडियाज मोस्ट टॉप रैंक्ड ई स्पोर्ट्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो हाउ डू यू डील विद द चैलेंजेस दैट यू फेस 
चैलेंजेस जो होते हैं बेसिकली टीम के रिगार्डिंग जो भी होता है वो मैं मोस्टली डिस्कशन करके सॉल्व करता हूँ जैसे बैक एंड मेरे कुछ फ्रेंड्स है जिनको मैंने गॉड लेग स्पोर्ट्स में लिया था मैनेजमेंट टीम में तो वहाँ पे उनके साथ डिस्कस वगैरह करके अगर कोई भी डिसीजन लेना होता है या फिर लाइक मेरा मैनेजर है उनके साथ डिस्कशन करके जो भी प्रॉब्लम्स होते हैं या फिर गुड और बैड डिसीजन हम सब लाइक साथ में मिलके लेते हैं एट देंड फाइनल डिसीजन मैं ले लेता हूँ और रही बात इन सारी चीज़ों की तो अगर बैक एंड में सारे लोग होते हैं इतने काम करने के लिए सपोर्ट करने के लिए ऑडियंस है तो इतनी डिफिकल्टीज नहीं आती है इन सारी चीज़ों में so that is awesome you know a uh, ek e sports organization god like jaise banane ke liye it takes a lot of manpower hard work dedication and uh, then you can get something like team god like anyways shivi i have some questions for you as well uh, you recently won a one play tournament defeating global e sports one of the big teams do you think you guys are settled now uh, you know to look and defeat teams like velocity and global to be the best team in india or do you feel like it's still a long way to go ये सार वन प्ले रन वॉज वेरी गुड जिसको हर लोग कहते हैं हनी मून पीरियड वो हमारा न्यू टीम का हनी मून पीरियड था बट आई कान स्टिल से कि वी आर अ सेटल्ड टीम फॉर कंसिस्टेंट रिजल्ट वी आर स्टिल वर्किंग एंड इन द लेटर रन एवरी वन विल सी दैट वी आर वी हैव बिकम सो मच बेटर so we hope for that as well scar god uh, so as being team captain how do you handle the situation mm-hmm. and keep your team geared up for the challenges that you are going to face in upcoming tournaments आर टीम विजन इज़ वेरी क्लियर दैट हमें फ़र्क नहीं पड़ता हमारे सामने कौन सी टीम आ रही है वी जस्ट वॉन्ट दैट हम जो अपनी इंडिविजुअल मिस्टेक्स हैं और एज अ टीम जो मिस्टेक्स हैं वो कम करें वी जस्ट वॉन्ट दैट हम लोग अपना प्रैक्टिस में टू हंड्रेड दें एंड जो प्रैक्टिस में कर रहे हैं वो गेम के अंदर करते हैं तो वी गेट डिसेंट रिजल्ट बट अगर जिस पॉइंट पर हमने अपनी मिस्टेक्स कर दी और जो प्रैक्टिस में करा वो लैक कर दिया दे वी लूज एंड वी डोंट वॉन्ट दैट तो इसलिए वी जस्ट पुट इन आर टू एंड टू इन प्रैक्टिस या तो जो भी यहाँ पर जनता हमारे साथ जुड़ी हुई है जो भी प्लेयर्स यहाँ पर जुड़े हुए हैं उनके लिए कहना चाहूँगा या प्रैक्टिस करो तब यहाँ तक पहुँच जाओगे आराम से आगे चलते हैं क्रोनित भाई आपसे मेरा सवाल ये रहेगा डू यू लाइक द आइडिया ऑफ स्काई स्पोर्ट्स सिटी वर्सेस सिटी लीग 2020? यस क्योंकि इसमें टॉप एट टीम से शायद इंडिया की एंड ये जो आइडिया था काफ़ी अच्छा था क्योंकि ये वेलोरेंट का आई थिंक इंडिया का फर्स्ट बिगेस्ट टूर्नामेंट हो रहा है वो भी एक इंडिविजुअल और के थ्रू ऑफिशियल टूर्नामेंट ये जो आइडिया था ये जो कंसेप्ट काफी अच्छा है अभी लेट्स सी अभी तो मैचेस होने हैं और फाइनल रिजल्ट वगैरह कैसे निकल के आता है फिर उसमें जो ब्रॉडकास्टिंग टीम होती है वो कैसे वर्क करती है आई नो स्काई स्पोर्ट्स वेरी वेल डेफिनेटली सब अच्छा ही होगा एंड ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर फ्यूचर वेल थैंक यू सो मच करोन चंद भाई एंड यस दिस इज गोइंग टू बी साउथ एशियाज बिगेस्ट वेलोरेंट टूर्नामेंट सो फार सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी ह्यूज एनी बस यू नो एक सवाल मैं पूछना चाहता हूँ आप दोनों से एज अ प्लेयर्स ऑफ गॉड लाइक कि आप लोग गॉड लाइक में आने से पहले क्या एक ही टीम में थे या फिर आपको गॉड लाइक में अपने अपने अलग अलग रोल्स के बेसिस पे लिया गया दिस इज आर फर्स्ट टाइम दैट वी आर प्लेइंग टुगेदर सी एस में भी वैलोरेंट में भी शिवी वॉज विद नाइट राइडर आई वॉज विद एस एम एक्स वाइट हाउस वॉज ऑलरेडी इन अदर टीम सो इट्स लाइक मिक्सचर ऑफ एवरी रोल एक साथ मिल के और एक टीम फॉर्म हुई एनीवेज uh, चलते हैं शिवी आप आई जी एल हैं तो एज बींग वन ऑफ द टीम्स मेन प्लेयर वट बार्स डू यू सेट फॉर योर सेल्फ एज अ प्लेयर फॉर द कॉम्पिटिशन जैसे अगर हम गेम को बहुत डेप्थ में देखें तो दे आर फ्यू पॉइंट्स जहाँ पे गेम में ऐसा नहीं होता कि लोग जैसे बाहर से देख रहे हैं कि थर्टीन वन हो गया थर्टीन टू हो गया इन एवरी राउंड देर आर वेरी क्रूशल किल्स एंड इन एवरी राउंड देर आर वेरी क्रूशल ट्रेड्स क्रूशल पॉइंट्स क्रूशल डिसीजन तो एज अ प्लेयर मैं ये चीज़ मेक श्योर करता हूँ कि हम उन पॉइंट्स पे बहुत कंसिस्टेंट हैं लाइक नॉट जस्ट फॉर माई सेल्फ फॉर माई होल टीम बिकॉज इवन इफ आई एम द आई जी एल आज के टाइम पे एवरी वन शुड बी ऑन द सेम पेज ऐसा नहीं कि आई जी एल ही तुमको स्पून फीड कर रहा है चीज़ें बिकॉज प्लेयर्स हैव बिकम सो मच स्मार्टर नाउ हर बंदे को मैं बता सकूँ कि तुम्हें किस पॉइंट पे क्या करना है अगर हम उन चीज़ों में कंसिस्टेंट रहेंगे तो राउंड अपने आप कन्वर्ट होंगे गेम्स हम अपने आप जीतेंगे Well, that is amazing. Skargood, आप से एक बहुत ही अमेजिंग सवाल है मेरा अगला यू नो यू यू हैव प्लेड दिस टूर्नामेंट बिफोर द फर्स्ट सीजन इन एग्रोल सीजन आप मुंबई से खेले थे अब मुंबई से शिफ्ट होकर कोलकाता में आप जा रहे हैं क्या फीलिंग है आपकी बहुत ज़्यादा मिक्सड फीलिंग है दैट एक तो इस बात की खुशी है कि फिर से ये खेलने का मौका मिल रहा है और एक मिक्स फीलिंग बुरी ये है बुरी नहीं बोलूँगा बट वो कि एक पॉइंट पे था कि मेरे को इन्वाइट मिला था फ्रॉम एस एड्यूल कि आप खेलना चाहते हो क्या ये टूर्नामेंट और इस पॉइंट पे अब मैं खुद की टीम लेकर आ रहा हूँ तो दैट इज ऑल्सो बिग रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर मी 
एंड मतलब अब ज्यादा प्रेशर आ गया क्योंकि आई एम रिप्रेजेंटिंग गॉड लाइक ऑब्वियसली तब मैं सिर्फ एक प्लेयर की तरह गया था अब मैं एक कैप्टन की तरह जा रहा हूँ और प्लस ऑब्वियसली स्काई स्पोर्ट्स इज स्टिल वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट टूर्नामेंट जिसने मेरे को बहुत हेल्प करी आई थिंक बहुत प्लेयर्स को हेल्प करी है टू ग्रो एंड आई लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू इट वेल वी आर लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू योर परफॉर्मेंसेज एज वेल जी भी आपके ऊपर वापस आते हैं हम जानना चाहते हैं आपसे कि विच टीम डू यू थिंक इज द स्ट्रॉगेस्ट एंड क्यों इस टाइम पे आई वुड से लाइक एनी वन वुड से दैट वी एल टी इज द स्ट्रॉगेस्ट एंड फॉर द लाइक मोस्ट कॉमन रीजन कि उनके पास जो उनके जो प्लेयर्स हैं वो लाइक दे ब्रिंग इन द बेस्ट थिंग्स जैसे अमा तेरासू ही ब्रिंग्स इन एक्सपीरियंस ही इज अ वेरी गुड आई जी एल ऑल्सो एस एंड एक्स कैली रियली गुड प्लेयर्स एंड दे नो हाउ टू हैंडल मिड राउंड सिचुएशन विच यू नीड कि एक टीम में बहुत अच्छे से हैंडल हो बिकॉज मिड राउंड चेंजेस एवरी थिंग एंड हेलेफ देर एंकर देर साइफर ही इज गुड ही जस्ट रिप्लेस विबोर and who's the fifth guy in their team antidote yeah antidote a flashy one every team needs a flashy one so i think they have the perfect composition right now and plus they have been playing since beta and uh, i think wo cheez bhi bahut zyada unko edge deti hai ki wo itne time se saath bhi khel rahe hain aur game bhi khel rahe hain like everyone else started unke kafi baar 2 3 months baad so clearly i think vlt is the strongest one abhi well strongest team ki baat yahan pe ho hi rahi hai to kronton bhai ke paas chalte hain kronton bhai Do you believe your team gonna defeat the hot favorites team Hyderabad jo ki VLT ki team hai Sky Sports League 2020 mein Haan barsa ta hai kyunki Crondon bhai ko khilayenge pakke jeetenge Um mujhe aisa lag raha hai ki definitely jeet sakte hai kyunki at the end jo matter karegi wo strategy and ye sab kuch game ke beech mein ab jaise inko pata hoga unke jo char panch player jo bhi hai wo kaise khelte hai hai na उन कहाँ पे होता है क्या कैसे तो उनको उस चीज को लेकर कैसे डिफीट किया जाता है तो सो पूरा लाइक स्ट्रेटजी वर्क करके बेसिकली कितने छह सात टीम है ना तो जो टॉप की टीम्स है बस उनके ऊपर वर्क करना पड़ेगा और अगर वो सही वे में जाता है तो डेफिनेटली विन करेंगे well your fans are waiting for you to play as well kronchan bhai and uh, dekhte hain kaisa rehta hai sab kuch but you know ek sawal aapse li- aapke liye hai not as a player but as a owner of esports organization do you believe valorant will be the big thing in pc esports in india definitely at the end main bolna chahunga ye is, uh, matter karta hai ye jo uh, cheez hai agar india mein uh, bada karna hai isko to wo uh, right ke hath mein डेफिनेटली uh, अगर वो ई स्पोर्ट्स को इंडिया में आगे लाता है जैसे पबजी मोबाइल ने किया था कि इंडिया के लिए अलग टूर्नामेंट वगैरह ये सारी चीज़ें अगर ऐसा कुछ सीन होता है एंड डेफिनेटली ऐसा चीज़ होगा क्योंकि वेलरेंट uh, जब से आई है वो इंडिया में जैसे वेलरेंट का ई स्पोर्ट्स ग्रो हो रहा है बहुत सारी टीम बनी है बहुत सारी चीज़ें हुई है अगर इसको राइट कहीं पर प्रेफरेंस देता है एंड टूर्नामेंट वगैरह ऑर्गेनाइज करता है तो डेफिनेटली uh, ये जो है वेलोरेंट uh, Well, that is going to be awesome. Night Rider को देखने के लिए हम भी बहुत उत्सुक हैं and uh, that is going to be awesome. Scar God आपके ऊपर आते हैं फटाफट से and uh, you know I wanna know Scar God which map is your favorite and uh, सबसे ज़्यादा confident आप किस map पे होते हो जहाँ पे आप सोचते हो यार इस map ये map आया इस map पे तो मैं सबसे ज़्यादा kill करके जाऊँगा. स्प्लिट एक्चुअली बिकॉज जो हमारी टीम की एजेंट कॉम्पोजिशन है मैं हमेशा से जब से मैंने वैलोडेंट स्टार्ट करा मैं डूबल इस खेलता था बट टीम के उसके लिए आई हैड टू पिक अ स्मोकर बट स्प्लिट एक ऐसा मैप है जिसमें मैं रेस खेलता हूँ सो दैट इज ऑब्वियसली बूम आम हीरो तो आई जस्ट गो एंड ट्राई टू गिव यू नो अल्टियाँ फेंकना और ये करना यू नो खत्म करने से पहले आई हैव टू से थैंक यू गाइज सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस फॉर टुडे एंड एक सवाल मैं हर किसी से पूछता हूँ यू नो मेरा एक स्टेपल क्वेश्चन रहता है जो भी मेरे सामने गेस्ट आता है उनसे पूछता हूँ एंड यहाँ पे तो एक बड़ा रीजन भी है ये सवाल पूछने के लिए जो फैंस आपके साथ यहाँ पे हमारे साथ जुड़ चुके हैं जो फैंस आते हैं जो चीयर करते हैं एक आपका स्लोगन है दिल से गॉड लाइक मैं गारंटी देता हूँ अभी भी चैट में चल रहा होगा तो उन फैंस के लिए और अब तो यू नो और भी बढ़ चुका है अब तो कोलकाता के फैंस भी आपके साथ आएंगे एंड वो भी यहाँ पे स्पैम करेंगे फॉर यू नो देर टीम उनके लिए आप कोई मैसेज देना चाहते हैं सो so, कोलकाता की पब्लिक और जो गॉड uh, लाइक like को सपोर्ट करने वाली जो पब्लिक है उनका दिल से शुक्रिया एंड जो भी कोलकाता है 
हम ट्राई करेंगे विन करेंगे कोलकाता मतलब चैट पे स्पैम हो जाएगा कोलकाता विन करके एंड थैंक यू यार सपोर्ट करने के लिए जो भी अपनी पब्लिक है गॉड लाइक सपोर्टर्स या फिर कोई भी हो जो भी ये देख रहा है वीडियो उनको थैंक यू वैसे ही सपोर्ट करो पीसी गेमिंग को Uh, और जो भी स्ट्रीमर्स होते हैं पीसी गेमिंग के रिलेटेड है जो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन होती है जैसे स्काई स्पोर्ट्स एंड ऑल सबको सपोर्ट करो एंड लेट्स विन Yeah, let's win. Corbo, Lord, bo, cheat, bo, team, call, cut. Thank you so much for joining us, Skyguard, the Clanton, and CV. I hope the matches are fun, great games, and uh, we'll see some action from you guys. So th- uh, that's yes, all for yes. today. Thank you so much for joining. We'll see you in the matches. The moment of creation is a form of magic where an off becomes an on a zero becomes a one then another and another until deep in the complexity you discover order speed reliability power experience the wd black MVME SSD Fueled by darkness Level up to MVME SSD performance The moment of creation is a form of magic where an off becomes an on a zero becomes a one then another and another until deep in the complexity you discover order speed reliability power experience the wd black MVME SSD Fueled by darkness Level up to MVME SSD performance
The moment of creation is a form of magic, where an off becomes an on, a zero becomes a one, then another, and another, until, deep in the complexity, you discover order, speed, reliability, power. Experience the WD Black MVME SSD. Fueled by darkness. Level up to MVME SSD performance. The moment of creation is a form of magic, where an off becomes an on, a zero becomes a one, then another, and another, until, deep in the complexity, you discover order, speed, reliability, power. Experience the WD Black. MVME SSD. Fueled by darkness. Level up to MVME SSD performance. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It was a little bit of a longer break than usual, but um, nonetheless, we are back with, uh, and I mean, we will be back with the game, but you know, we are back. So yeah, that's that. So this is me, Dr. Dang, and that is Dinkar with me. So first map going in the favor of Chennai with a score of 13-11, a very, very close game coming up between both of these teams. And that just puts us on a pedestal for, in fact, the next game that is coming up. Yeah, Glitz, thank you so much for coming in. Gotham, thank you so much for coming in as well. Uh, if you talk about the first game, yes, it, it, it went right down to the wire with, with Chennai getting the better of Kolkata. I, I, I do expect Kolkata to come back and Chennai would definitely not want to go to the three-setter again just because the same thing happened with them against Mumbai when when they were very close to victory but unfortunately you know Mumbai had another plans other plans and with North Fox coming in they became a certainly different team and got away with the victory so Chennai uh, would, would really want to finish it off as quickly as possible 
so we'll have to see if chennai can actually do that again going back to the head to head um rafa and smx they have been two of the uh, players who have been very influential in the game rafa coming in with 61 kills um smx coming in with, coming in with 69 kills so yeah we, we did uh, talk about this head to head just a while ago with rafa you know taking a little more kills but the death has been amazing on smx and and he turned out a, as a very good player today as well he he had a very good outing let's see if he'll be able to continue with the same kind of gameplay in the next few games that we are going to have that is true and rafa i mean he definitely showed up when he was really needed and um that was very very important but i would have still liked a little bit uh you know more from rafa because we know that he can do things that not a lot of players on phoenix can do he can be that outright duelist uh picking up two kills every single round and that is the rafa that i miss and want to see but there you go flex 62 and 62 scar god still not able to come positive but nonetheless 54 and 59 those are not uh normal numbers and that too on a controller like omen while flex does that on a jet scar god is definitely looking very very strong so now what we need to see from team chennai is that the mid round slump that they had chennai was able to start things off very strong with the pistol round and two rounds after that but after that they went into a little bit of slump allowed kolkata to pick up rounds gain some momentum and then uh, overall yes they were able to get the win back but that mid round could have gone either ways yeah that that would have gone either ways and now i guess the ascent is going to be the pick for the map kolkata starting on attacker if you talk about kolkata they haven't played on ascent in in specifically um, this this tournament but uh, chennai is certainly having that experience they they lost the game though so not the best of the experience they would have wanted but yeah uh, when you lost the game there are always some takeaways that you would want to improve on and i guess chennai has certainly done their homework so we'll have to see how well that homework is done and if if uh, chennai will be able to come back and close in on a victory and close in on those two points as well which are much needed just because of the first game that they lost again kolkata they have already lost the first round yeah they have a victory in their back uh, because of the game against rajasthan but uh, it's certainly important to win every game in the starting so that you you have that kind of backup in the in the ending stages of the uh, tournament so i really expect kolkata to come back as well but um, the you know talking about the competition in the last game it was it was really right down to the wire so uh, again if that happens Uh, i mean it, it can be anybody's game for the second time that is true and i mean the way that i would honestly say that uh rafa has been playing as well as this team from chennai they do have what it takes to take a bigger win but at the same time if they do get ahead of you themselves kolkata as kolkata is a team that will not give them a second chance we saw kolkata give them a second chance on haven but i'm pretty sure that it will not happen on this map of ascent so stoner lord batura flex rafa jin going to be again on the side of team chennai while we will be seeing um uh, uh, they we are seeing us i guess because we will have to wait till we get back into the game once more probably a player loading in probably um you know something else but there you go we are back in game so the players that we will be seeing from the side of kolkata is also going to stay the same which is scar god white horse smx shivi and night rider so a cipher omen jet phoenix and a sova for chennai while an omen as well as a cipher sova breach instead of the phoenix and a jet coming in from kolkata so breach again a very very strong operator on uh, this map of ascent and i don't know how how team chennai is going to be dealing with him but shooting him in the head is one of the options and yeah he showed what he is capable of in the last game and is if he is able to replicate that in this one as well kolkata certainly has a chance called kolkata certainly stands a chance to come back again those initial kills are very important the pistol round went in the favor of chennai in the first round so kolkata would certainly feel 
um, you know, the urge to get back and get that victory onto their side so that they can have an initial lead. And again, it's going to be very important for Kolkata to do that just because they are already on one round deficit. And this is the best of three games that we are seeing right now. You lose one, you you are at a very, very big disadvantage because you'll have to win two out of two uh, from the next ones. But right now, considering uh, both the teams still trying to go in Chennai starting on defense this time, Kolkata starting on attacker, Kolkata going for a 3-2 split. And um, again, Chennai has certainly, you know, divided their numbers really well. Aldron coming in, Stoner will be trying to move in. Location has been revealed, Recon Bolt coming through. And a lot of utilities um, coming in from both the teams as Kolkata will try to go for that plant onto the A site, which seems like the right thing. But Bhatura, this guy has been amazing. He takes down SMX. Bhatura takes down Scar God as well. Lord Bhatura coming out on top in, in that 1v2. But will he be able to take that 1v3? Oh my God, Bhatura, what are you doing? You're not supposed to do that. A 3k coming in from him. It's going to be Lord Bhatura getting another to get a 4k and a victory for Chennai. I mean... What is he doing there? Somebody needs to nerve him down. That was amazing coming in from him. He, he dealed with the whole Kolkata camp alone. He was a one-man army standing in the in the you know the roads of Kolkata towards victory. But as soon as Kolkata started to come in, it was all you know. I, I think it's uh, we shouldn't call him Bhatura. He is the Lord Bhatura himself. He got those kills and he totally decimated Kolkata in the first round. But Kolkata. They certainly need to keep their morale high because it, it will take a lot of morale, a lot of confidence, a lot of determination if they want to come back against this Chennai side who, who is definitely spotting a lot of match winners. That is definitely true and what a play coming in from the Omen but now it will be on Kolkata to mount a response. So Shivi going to use that smoke to pick up a quick ultimate orb that will be possibly helping them in the next oh round God. or maybe even in the other. I think that Cypher Tripwire has been uh, destroyed through the wall, not really certain about that but nonetheless it could have also been the shock dart. But now Stoner, he will be looking to get in for the peak, he'll get the headshot and that is the cipher of the board for Whitehorse. So now Kolkata will have to deal with everything without the cipher cams. The dash comes in. Knight, Knight Rider is going to just coming in, but Flex One and Stoner, as well as Lord Batura, are going to show up for Chennai. And it's all down to Shivi in a 1v5. This might just be a flawless round as Jin, as well as his teammate, are looking to make this a very simple one. Rafa is going to spot the player. He'll hold off on the shot <laughs> just around. to make sure that he lines it up perfectly. There you go. Chennai picked two rounds in a row. So now a full buy will come in from both these teams. And that will be a very, very interesting prospect. I mean, I really like how Kolkata, I mean, how Chennai is stepping up their game and they are denying entry to Kolkata players. We have seen a lot of defenders trying to stay on the edge until there is a, you know, the rush, the push is coming in. But I really like how, uh, you know, Chennai is playing in. They, they are staying on the edges. They are not, uh, you know, allowing the entry. And they are catching Kolkata's player by surprise. That's amazing um, coming in from the Chennai side. Let's see if Kolkata has an answer to that as well. Abhishek, thank you so much for coming in. There is a mix of uh, both. Both, bro there is a mix of both um the you know the content creators and the players coming in so yeah it, it is turning out to be an amazing game i i think you missed the last game it was cutthroat competition thank you so much for coming though thank you so much for enjoying the games uh, let's see what knight rider has for us in this round as he's trying to move in kolkata knows what chennai is trying to do so this time they are a little more patient to move on to any of the sites a very good retake coming in from Kolkata, but will they make it work? That still remains a question because um, if you look at Chennai, they have been taking those initial rounds in their favor. So we'll have to see and we'll have to wait for that. Oh my God, surprising Lord Bhatura. Um, you know, SMX got that kill and went for, for that portion. He got the kill again. Knight Rider trying to go in. He takes down Jin as well. Stone around the other and waiting for the opponents to come in and he will take that kill. But will he do a 2k or a 3k? Yeah, he's still going for that rush, but unfortunately he will be shut down by Shivi. White Rose takes one as well as it's going to be Kolkata. Very well read from Kolkata because last time they knew that you know Chennai is surprising them so this time they wanted to give Chennai a taste of their own medicine and they have certainly done that but will that last player flex survive or will he go down to the um, Kolkata camp anyways it can be uh, anyone taking that one kill and it's going to be flex surprising Shivi Shivi was waiting uh, for the other player to make a mistake but he was very good with that checking and Knight Rider will take down flex at the end just because they have the numbers advantage as soon as you get a kill your location is exposed and they did a pretty good job getting that round I mean 
uh, if you did talk about that how quick these teams are on reading the opponents as soon as there are two rounds going in anyone's favor uh we have seen the other team fighting back very quickly flex also uh you know taking the best off of shivi um using it to that advantage but he was taken down by knight rider at the end so again kolkata is weaving a comeback but Chennai has been doing it better for the past few rounds. Let's see if Kolkata will be up to the mark this time and if they will be able to go away with another round. Well, exactly. I think that what is uh, the case right now, Chennai, they they've lost one round. It is very different from the last time this panned out. The last time a full buy round was between both these teams. It was Chennai, in fact, who took it again. But this time it's going to be Mumbai. So a little different as a shock dart. That's a very uh, sorry. That's a recon dart, in fact. As a very smart one comes in, Owl Drone comes out from gym. He will spot two players, I believe, at least inside courtyard or mid, as we like to call it. And that will be a call made that possibly this might be an uh, B side execute. It looks like everyone is going to be stacking themselves up in this hallway and looking to just barge in as soon as the call is made. But Jin is ready as well. He will be looking to use his shock darts to get some. Uh, damage onto the players or maybe even his recon darts to get some intel but as the owl drone comes in from smx the fault line comes in as well as this seems to be a cool full push knight rider is going to pick up rafa he does not know what to do stoner is going to be there as well but lord batura has got his answers of his own he's going to pick one up Jin is going to join the party as well it's all down to soba as well as the cypher a 4v2 flex has the operator in hand and this could be very very difficult and there you go white horse is going to fall tripwires get taken out and as soba looks to do anything about it Lord Bhatura is going to be coming in and taking the final kill. Picks up the Reaver Vandal on the way out. A very, very good skin, I must mention. And uh, again, Chennai with that retake, it was amazing how quick they were to respond to Kolkata's attack. And it, it wasn't too long that Kolkata started uh, to get things going. But I like the way Chennai put the brakes on. And this happened in the last round as well. And they are very quick to, to gain that extra advantage on to Chennai. But Kolkata, they need to do something. They need to create a lead here because if they if they always be on the back foot, they won't be able get to put out. Um, they, they, they won't be able to, you know, give their best performance. This has been happening. Knight Rider going with the jet, trying to... Um, use the updraft and the tailwind but he's trying to go for those skills he hasn't been able to do so in the first few rounds but let's see if he'll be able to do that Kolkata trying to move in as well the Sova is very low on health that puts an extra bit of disadvantage onto Kolkata's side but still they need to go for that efficient push that efficient plant spike has been planted very quickly by the Kolkata side and now they have the advantage the post plant situation if you look at it Kolkata has the number Chennai still spotting five players but the health advantage uh, advantage certainly goes to Chennai Rafa will be trying to move in he will be trying to get that kill as quickly as possible he spots one unfortunately not able to get it rafa will again try to move in but knight rider oh. is all ready to with his blade storm but unfortunately will be shut down uh, i mean a perfect retake coming in from kolkata white horse will take another on to flex it's a 1v1 white horse will get another and that's a 3k coming in for him to get kolkata the much needed victory again a 3-2 uh, we have seen this time and time again. This has happened uh, a lot of times that we are seeing only one point differentiating the two teams. And again, Kolkata very quick and all the players to the rescue getting another round to Kolkata. That is true. I mean, uh, what can be said? Kolkata, they are a team that just does not give up. And look at that, a full buy from every single player except stoner as well as rafa they are going to be going in for light shields instead of full shields rafa has in fact picked up the specter as well so stoner he will be pushed hard and he will be pushed into the ground as stoner is going exactly. to fall to knight rider two cloud bursts being used and there you go recon dark flex will get spotted he will still pick up the kill nonetheless and make a quick dash out the spike has been planted and now a 4v4 situation this is something that Chennai will certainly have to play smart. Rafa will get tagged by the Firebolt. The Hunter's Fury comes out. Will he tag Rafa? It looks like no. Rafa is just going to escape with the skin of his teeth. The Omen does take 70 points of damage. But as the curveball comes in, he will, he will flash his own teammate. He will spot one player. No, he is still not going to be able to land the shots because he runs out of bullets. But Rafa is going to pick one up. Knight Rider Shiv is going to pick one up each. Jin is going to take one kill. But SMX comes in and that will be it unfortunate for rafa runs out of bullets mid spray has to pick up the other gun to finish off the kill but at that point his position has been called out
it was just too late uh, to get that kill going to get that retake going but again knight rider this guy is stepping up for the team as well shivi also taking a few kills and when scar god joins the party it's going to be all kolkata chennai started really well but kolkata is definitely coming with a retake i'm really liking how how kolkata is taking things now they are trying to you know go on the offensive they have tried to go all in and as soon as they get the opportunity they are going for that very very efficient plant as well so very good thinking coming in from the kolkata side i really appreciate the igl there uh, for for going, going with that work and white rods again on the offense gets that kill on to rafa makes a, makes the job a little bit tougher for chennai again you know repositions himself so that he doesn't give away that kill again the cipher um, will be trying to do his job but unfortunately will be picked he's not aware of white rods um, i mean jin coming from the back side but scar god will take that retake to get kolkata another advantage but again the jet on the kolkata side is very low on health he will be taken on by nighter with just one blade flex will be trying to move in as well it's down to a 3v3 position will the blade storm get the job done from flex or will it be kolkata side coming back with a very strong offense they have been very offensive um, i'm really liking the play but will it be chennai coming back so is very low on health as well shivi will take down stoner before going down it's down to a 3v2 position where chennai again losing a man it's going to be smx who will take out lord batura as well down to a 1v3 where i guess um, the blade storm is not going to get the job done and he's still not aware where the kolkata camp is they are going for the plant yes the plant will be done it's a 1v3 he's going in for that but let's see if he'll if he'll if he'll be successful in doing so i think he has nothing to lose he just has a phantom on him and after this round he will be able to buy uh, whichever gun he wants irrespective whether he clutches this or not so there is really a no risk but there you go oh, smx is ready for the respect flex is going to take and that will be an easy kill for the soba so now kolkata has picked up the lead again and mind you ascent is definitely a defender sided map so if chennai does not pick up the rounds that are necessary for them it will be a big problem nonetheless right now it still looks like kolkata is going to be in the driver seat yeah kolkata you know getting two rounds on trot makes them a little uh, better team right now they are in a better position as compared to chennai they have been very good with the attack in the first two rounds they were not going all in which was one of those things that i was looking forward to they allowed chennai to take the control of the game but finally uh, i'm i'm seeing kolkata taking much more of the control of the space and the game as well and now finally they are trying to you know get some more information as they are trying to move in it might not be a complete push but yeah they are waiting for kolkata they are waiting for chennai to make a mistake take here chennai also looking uh, for players they know what kolkata has done in the last few rounds so they are trying to come up with a retake they are trying to come with a different strategy but will that strategy work for them um, they have been able to shut down lord bhatura in the last two games which has worked out for them i mean if lord bhatura gets going it's all chennai after that so they have been able uh, to take him down the kolkata side but let's see if they will be able to do that we haven't seen a, a lot from the breach but finally he is coming in he will be going in for that night air comes in uh, going for that shot it's going to be lord bhatura actually this is what i was talking about if this guy steps up i mean it's no stopping him lord bhatura gets that kill but it's going to be scar god coming with that retake on to jin oh. rafa will try to move and he takes down takes him down through the smoke it's going to be scar god who's going to be the re on the receiving end of rafa rafa goes for another he will be trying to move in but he will go for run it back and he repositions himself but he's again in a fight in a one way uh, position in which rafa takes down smx as well it's down to a 2v2 situation where rafa is playing really well she is going for that plant he is trying to move in the spike has been planted the post plant situation looks uh you know uh, it's a it's a 2v2 so it can go anywhere again the blaze wall comes in but is it enough to get get kolkata up a victory again it's a 2v2 both the players trying to move in the jet is very low on health will he be able to get the job done he goes in for the surprise but it's going to be white horse who will shut down rafa as well white horse getting another forest team and that makes it 5 to 3 kolkata certainly giving out a statement here certainly making a comeback well kolkata is looking very very strong on attack and unless chennai does something about it they will have a lot of problems to deal with so <clears throat> rafa almost able to get a uh, you know a very good play in but unfortunately kolkata was already ready for it he got sandwiched between two people with his run it back and then once he got taken out from that he got stuck between a rock and a hard place so kolkata really switching things up they are not doing the same thing again and again they are not letting can i settle down and stoner is certainly going to be settling down for the rest of the game and that will be as a spectator rafa is going to pick one or two smx but jin is hiding Ooh. white horse still gets the kill nonetheless that is amazing from the cypher and exactly now it is all down to these three players 
from Team Chennai, Rafa, as well as Flex, as well as Lord Tura. Now, it is going to be a difficult retake for them because they'll have to make their way through all of this utility that has been spotted. Rafa does get rid of Whitehorse, but Scargod does have his teammates back. And there you go, the trade comes in now. Lord Batura with the Sheriff. Will he be able to land these shots? He'll eat one headshot from the Spectre or the Classic, I believe. Knight Rider is going to get a rid of Flex. And now it is the end of Lord Batura. As Cargot comes in with the Classic, lands a headshot and puts an end to that. So 6-3 for Kolkata. That is something that Chennai will have to definitely come back from because if they do not... They risk going to a third map and facing this team of Kolkata again. You know, this is the same thing that happened with Chennai when they were fighting against Mumbai. They won the uh, first round very convincingly, but after that, they were not the same Mumbai. Uh, they were not the same Chennai that we were looking for. And again, um, if you look at Kolkata, they have been very strong. They have been getting those initial kills, that first, those first picks, which which has been putting them on the driver's seat. Flex goes for that operator. Knight Rider trying to go in. Let's see if he'll be able to bring something. Let's see what happens as Kolkata trying to move in again. They they still have that blade storm. Uh, which is coming in Chennai trying to move in as well this this is still a 5v5 fight from the both sides um, still no players given out but the spike has been planted a very efficient plant coming in from the players on the other hand if you talk about the blade storm which is ready but hasn't been fired till now um, is it going to be the opponents who will be on the receiving side or will he be going down again a lot of numbers a lot of positioning coming in from the other side Jin takes down White Horse Cargo takes a kill as well Jin coming back on Knight Rider SMX takes down Batura very early into the game Stoner takes a kill off his own as well down to a 3v2 situation where flex changes the game he takes down one of kolkata's as well down to a 2v1 where breach he has been the kind of guy who has been standing out for his team time and time again he stands out again it's going to be shivy who will take down flex but stoner will be up and ready to take down shivy and it will be stoner who will be going away with the round it's again chennai making a comeback but will kolkata, will kolkata go in with the breaks it's it's still a question that needs to be asked well, yes, we have seen both of these teams in a similar position. We saw a 6, or oh, sorry, a 5-3 come in on the last map till uh, Chennai was able to finally regain some points and regain the lead. So it looks like we are in a similar situation where this can go to a 6-6, this can go to a 8-4, this can also go to a 7-5. On I mean, for Chennai, the best that they can do right now is going to be a 6-6 and that is what they should... Um, have at least to work with because if they do not then they will have a lot of problems and ascent being a defender sided map it will definitely help team kolkata and if they have a big advantage like they do have right now it will be a big problem for team chennai yeah, it certainly will be a big problem as we are seeing that they, they are very uncertain of what type of play uh, they are going to make. Again, a, a full push coming in from them, but will it work in their favor? I still don't have any idea as Kolkata will start to move in. Chennai, on the other hand, still five players standing. Kolkata certainly has the advantage going into this round. They are already two rounds up on Chennai, but is it enough? Lord Bhatura, again, he will try to move in. He hasn't been the same Bhatura from the last two, three rounds. He has been shut down very quickly and that shows in the result as well. If, if you look at the points right now, 6-4, Chennai having the advantage in the in the first few rounds, but after that Kolkata has certainly gone on a roll to, to get that lead. Let's see what happens as they will try to move in. Kolkata going for it, and yeah, uh, the teleportation coming in from Omen, he will be going uh, for it. Anyways, we are seeing yeah, an A push coming in from Kolkata. Um, it's going to be an all A push, but Chennai will be uh, looking for that retake, and they certainly need to run it back coming in from Rafa. He will go uh, for it again as Whitehorse will go for that planting. Um, Whitehorse will shut down a few players it's going to be Lord will be taken out Scargot coming with two of his own as well down to a 5v2 situation where Kolkata is certainly looking very strong in this post plant situation Jins finally gets one but it's not going to be enough as still the the if, if you talk about the numbers it's, it's still down to 4v2 where Chennai is is not you know ready to come back they have been trying their best but Kolkata certainly certainly looking very strong from the last few rounds they're not allowing Chennai to have any kind of advantage they have been getting those skills and on top of that they have been very aware of of the surroundings that they are in they know where every player is they are very cautious of the moves they are making and that has put them in the driver's seat right now not only in this round but in the game as well if you look at the overall game after 10 rounds uh two points lead to kolkata um it, it is not looking like a very big lead but yeah it is uh that kind of lead which has been coming on and off it's going to be flex taking out smx chain will get another forest team and uh, kolkata will be going away with the round i mean round the kind of the gameplay they have shown and the kind of lead they have they are we are certainly looking to go into a third 
third round and chennai would certainly you know, they, they they wouldn't want this because the same thing happened with them against mumbai as well uh, when when they started well they got that first round but after the first round it's like uh, most of the chennai players are switched off and they are not able to gain that type, that kind of momentum that they had in the first game and mumbai came in with that second round and the third round as well so that was a best of three game going against chennai even if they had the first round and now the same thing is happening with them they they have already lost i mean they they gained the first round but now it's a 7 4 uh, they certainly need to buckle up and they need to be quick as uh, as as quick as possible rafa will be trying to move in again it's going to be phoenix who will be trying to make the difference here yeah, he will spot one he will get one rafa coming back very strongly he gets one but is it enough as smx takes down another lord bhatura to even out the numbers down to a 4 4 wide out again going for the plant he's been very efficient with these plants and yes it's a post plant situation that is coming in but rafa will get a 3k to shut down two of the players from the kolkata side shivi coming back as well smx will take one will is does rafa has it in him oh my god he has been shut down it's going to be shivi who will shut down shivi will end the proceedings as well as kolkata will get another round to their name it's going to be 84 i mean kolkata these guys are certainly um, you know putting that foot onto the accelerator and they are coming back very very strongly even with that with that you know lead they have they are extending that time and time again so chennai i mean they, they have been in these kinds of situation before they know what to do here but will they be able to do that that still remains a very big question that is true and 84 i mean it is difficult to see chennai coming back from this um but again it will depend on how uh, kolkata is going to be playing the defensive rounds if they are not going to play it the way that they have played their attacking rounds then it will definitely be much easier for chennai to get the comeback but if their defensive setups are anything to go by how they have been attacking then there there is a huge mountain in front of team chennai and i don't know how they're going to conquer that yeah you know it it will become uh, very hard but you know the the take out the positives from chennai was that rafa was certainly on a on a very high level and he is improving from the last few rounds um the, the round before the last round was also uh, one of those rounds where rafa was certainly standing up let's see if he'll be able to do that again for his team um rafa will be going for it but there are, there are a lot of players on him will he be able to come back actually no it's going to be scarbot who will shut him down white horse coming with, with a kill on his own stoner will get a one as well down to a 4v2 situation where chennai is looking like they are going to go down scar god gets another flex finally comes back with a kill but is it enough he's going in a 1v2 will he be able to get that no peaks coming finally the peaks come in he gets one but smx will be providing that backup at the right time at the right moment as you know you look at it kolkata still two players up and running but you know they they get another round to their name well chennai not in the best of positions right yeah. now rafa there his position was definitely known and before he could do anything he got hit with the cloud burst then with the paranoia then with the breach flash and then to top it all off two players just pushed him aggressively there was nothing that rafa could have done in that position but i mean it is what it is as we are seeing a small buy coming in from most of the players of kolkata with the bulldog as well so a force buy for one player but it looks like kolkata is investing all of the efforts that they have in the finishing of this map of ascent as soon as they can and take it to a third map and there you go Ooh. smx is going to get rid of rafa well night rider is going to pick one up smx no. gets to god oh my god white horse is going to pick one up as well night rider gets the final kill and that was a complete wipe out of team chennai from the side of kolkata and though this is going to be a full full buy for chennai so it will be interesting to see how that pans out but nonetheless they have a six round deficit that they need to get back from i mean it looks very hard for chennai now uh, right now with every other round and kolkata is just cruising and cruising towards victory down to a six point lead that kolkata is having right now and they have been very aggressive uh, in the last few games alak nanda he is in kolkata team thank you so much for joining in the stream anyways chennai will try to fight back as quickly as possible a full round by coming in from him uh, them as well and they will be looking for some openings here as the jet starts to rotate towards a side the other players also trying to get some information as quickly as possible 
um, women, they have played a really good role, but unfortunately, Kolkata has been on slightly better side when it comes to the usage of utilities and the usage of their agents. But let's see if Chennai will be able to prove themselves going to be Knight Rider coming with that uh, first pick. And it has been happening time and time again. Kolkata are getting those first picks. And after that, you know, when they have the numbers advantage, they don't allow Chennai to come back. They don't allow them to get a 2K or a 3K uh, to make up for the difference. So that's one thing to look out for, uh, look forward to because Chennai, they certainly haven't been starting well. And when, you, when you're not able to start well, you're not able to end well as well. But let's see. If, if Chennai will be able to come back even with, with a one player deficit that they have. Kolkata still unsure on where they want to go. I guess they are still planning it out and I guess it's a B push coming in from them. Um, a few players still need to come in. On the other hand, if you, if you look at Kolkata, they are finally starting to read that and they have uh, started to react left. to that. But will that reaction work in their favor? Because in the last few rounds, it hasn't been working out. SMX finally trying to get that kill. He takes a kill onto Flex. Stoner will come back as well. He, he will take down uh, SMX, but it will be Shivi who will be taking out Bhatura uh, to inch closer last towards another round. It's down to a 4v2. Where Scarbot takes one of his own, Jen is out. Shivi takes down Stoner as well. And Kolkata certainly looking like a much better team uh, than what they were in the first round. Uh, you know, it's a 11 4, 7 point advantage to Kolkata. I mean, I don't know what Chennai is not able to figure out, but one of them is definitely not understanding how this defense of Kolkata is standing up. I mean, look at that. Again, the kill, uh, the kill boards for Kolkata is so, so similar. 13, 12, 12, 11, 11. Every single player is yeah, doing a little bit. And that is honestly very, uh, I mean, that is very impressive to see. And there you go. Scar God joining the party again. Lord Batura gets taken out. Flex going to miss all of Stormblades. White Horse is going to pick that kill very, very easily. Jin gets hit with the Paranoia. Rafa is going to hit with the Firebolt. There you go. White Horse is going to pick up a 3k for himself. And now it is all down to Stoner. He will pick up one. He'll pick up two, in fact. But his position has been revealed. He knows where uh, the players are. But so do the other players. And as SMX comes in with the Vandal, Stoner will be too low of an HP to contest. And that is it. I mean, match point for Team Kolkata. I mean, everything is working out for them. Um, if you talk about Team Kolkata, they are very, very close to getting this round win and very close to evening out the numbers. Uh, before the, before the, you know, before this round, Chennai certainly had an advantage. But right now, the way Kolkata is playing in, I guess Chennai will have to, you know, will again uh, meet and we will not be able to meet the end just like it happened against Mumbai. So let's see if Chennai has something in the tank in the next round because this round it certainly looks like Kolkata is going to go away. We have seen a lot of comebacks but a com comeback from 12 to 4 it's it's going to be a little more difficult than than we might assume but let's see if Chennai has it in them um, again Kolkata has been very good uh, with the attack in the first few rounds and uh, after that um, you know Kolkata when, when, when even when the switch happened they, they have been you know looking like a slightly better team and that shows in the result Chennai getting only four rounds this time on the other hand Kolkata having 12 rounds uh, hashtag Danny thank you so much for coming in uh, let's see if that happens in the third round. Anyways, you know, you talk about the game, Kolkata, very good. And they have been very offensive when it comes to attackers or uh, defensive. They have been offensive on that part. They have been getting those initial kills. Knight Rider specifically, he has been getting those initial kills. He's waiting for that again. We'll use a Tailwind to go a little back. Um, just, just, I mean, he, he knew that players are coming in. Rafa will be going in and he will pick up one. He will pick up... Two, actually, yeah, he does. Rafa goes for a 2k. Lord Bhatura takes down SMX as well. Shivi is out. Is it the comeback chain they needed? Or is it going to be Kolkata winning with the two players that they have? Women and Cypher still surviving. Will they be able to get the job done? Um, the economy is in favor of Kolkata, so they might go for it. And it's not that tough. Uh, it's only a 2v3, but will they be able to pull it off? White Horse will try to move in. The locations have been revealed. He will be going in. Rafa goes for it, but uh, he will use run it back to go back to his own position. And again, it will be Lord Bhatura who will be taking the advantage will be getting that kill but scar got coming with one of his own it's still a 1v2 he has been hit and he has been hit badly but he will be trying to come back it's still a 1v2 omen still surviving will he get the job done no actually lord batura coming back with a 3k to shut down scar god and it's going to be chennai finally getting a round win but will the comeback come back i mean uh that is still a big ask because seven rounds without reply that is difficult. I mean, we were at the exact same position between uh, 
Kolkata and Rajasthan. When Rajasthan thought that all right, going for a rush at match point is going to work, but it did not for them. And Kolkata was able to get the comeback. Now Chennai, will they be able to do something like that? I am not very sure about it. But can they do it? Yes, they definitely can. Rafa is going to get hit with the tripwire as well as get snagged inside the cipher cage as he looks to make his way in. Lord Petura is going to get rid of Knight Rider. That's a big kill. Jin gets flashed completely as Rafa is going to pick one up. He'll drop the hot hands and that is going to prevent the push coming in. He'll heal himself up. He'll pick one up as well. And now there is one player. He'll get the one tap. Oh. The reload comes in. One single bullet in his mag and he was able to land it. It's now all down to Scar God. His position probably known, possibly not known, but he's looking to play this safe. But this first he's he gets this kill. That's going to give his position. Stoner falls down. But with the Phantom in hand against three players, will he be able to do it? Yes, it looks like he's still going to go in. He'll pick one up. Flex uses the op, uses the dash to get out. The paranoia comes in. But Lord Batura oh. is going to get rid of Scar God. A very good effort coming in. But Chennai is still going to pick that round up. I mean, they are certainly putting up a fight here, Chennai. They have got the last two rounds. Danny, I will be certainly trying to pass on your message to the Chennai side and let's see if they make the changes to come back. Uh, Alam, thank you so much for coming in as well. Now, Dan, you, you look at it. This was the same position in which Rajasthan was uh, against Kolkata. And now it's Kolkata who is who's leading and Chennai uh, who are on the back foot but will Chennai you know uh, will, will Chennai weave a massive comeback here a comeback that is that is not expected a six point lead uh, but let's see if it happens Rafa will try to move in those initial kills are very important will he be able to do that that still remains the question he will try to move in heal himself up till 100 and then he will start moving it's still a six point deficit going against Chennai Kolkata is all over Chennai but it is going to be an all out brawl at the A side all players standing in so actually uh, not really going into the fight. Finally, starting to rotate. Lord Bhutra will get one of his own to shut down Knight Rider. He is waiting for the opponent. Shivi trying to play the game here. Trying to make the play here. Target has been hit. Stoner will try to get one of his own. Unfortunately, not able to hit as many. But it's going to be Whitehorse who will even out the numbers. Whitehorse actually getting another to give his team an advantage. But Chennai is certainly looking for a comeback. But Kolkata will shut him down. Shivi getting another. It's going to be Scar God uh, with that kill onto Flex. It's going to be Kolkata who are going to come back yes they are well there you go kolkata is going to win that out with the score of 13 6 a big big win on ascent and honestly team chennai third map they'll have to make sure that they do something about it because again it is a similar tale they are able to pick up the first round but after that they are not able to pick up maps that happened against Mumbai as well. That is happening against Kolkata if we are able to, you know, draw conclusions from the last game that we saw. So a 1-1 between both of these teams. Um, what is it going to be between uh, them in the third map is something that we'll have to see because we have seen Haven, we have seen Ascent, the two maps that are left are going to be bind as well as split now i haven't seen this team of chennai play a lot of split we have seen kolkata play a little bit of split but at the same time bind is something that possibly every single team likes to play they do have something set up for that so it will be very very interesting to see how it is going to pan out and if it works out in the favor of team kolkata then yes i mean They'll, they'll go up, but if Chennai does not do anything about it, bottom of the scoreboard is where they'll be. I mean, if you, if you, if you talk about the game right now, I mean, Kolkata was certainly looking like a better team. The first uh, game was much more competitive with Chennai getting the win. Kolkata finally coming back and they have they have actually taken Chennai by storm with that with that kind of gameplay. I mean, the 7-8 point lead that they had in the mid phase, it was quite clear that they are going to go away with the round. Um, Sohan, uh, it will be a short break, not not too long. Abhay, thank you so much for going in, coming in. You're again a bit late today, but thank you so much for joining the party. Uh, 
Um, now, talking about the game itself, I mean, Chennai certainly needs to, you know, pull up their socks right now because uh, um, they, they were very good in the first game. But in the second game, not all of their players were, were striking in. It was all Kolkata. The initial kills were coming through very easily. And uh, th- there was a lot of outings coming in from the Chennai camp. There was a lot of one-man shows coming in. Rafa was certainly standing out. But it was not enough. You know, we, we have seen um, that... You know, it, it doesn't matter how much, how much, how much good, how much better a guy is playing, but it it needs a team game to win these rounds, and we have seen this in the past. Kolkata was certainly a well constructed team in this round. Chennai was a very well constructed team in the first round. We saw that, but in the third round, I I don't know what to expect because we we saw a cer- certainly different Chennai in the second round. Chennai was very strong in the first one, but I don't know what happened to them in the second round. It was all Kolkata all over them in the in the in the mid phase and in the starting phase as well. They they tried to come back but it was not enough i mean the deficit was too much uh, to give any chances to chennai but now going into the third round the map picks uh, let's see what happens as kolkata already uh, has a, has a game win in split i mean they have they have played split um it was i guess against yeah it was against rajasthan that they won they started on the attacker side so i'll have to look forward to it and let's see if kolkata can make a comeback even after losing out in the first round because that's what mumbai did against chennai that is true if um, i mean mumbai did exactly that I think the uh, the difference was that Mumbai won the first map, then Chennai took one, and then Mumbai took this third map. But um, if Chennai can do that against Kolkata, then why not? But again, it will have to be a team effort. You cannot expect yeah. every single player to just you know walk into sight and get kills. Um, Rafa can do that, but he can't do it every single round. And even if he can do it every single round, he will still need the other five players from his team to help him out. And the way that Kolkata has been playing off each other's backs, that just clearly shows it uh, in their scoreboard. I mean, in the, the match was about to end and the difference between the top fragger and the bottom fragger, yeah. as you may like to call it, was two kills. It was 13, 12, 12, 11, 11. And if that is the kind of scoreboard that you have on a team, then honestly, if you are Chennai, you need to figure out what you want to do. Because if every single player can show up in any round whenever needed, that is certainly the, that is a great thing. That That is something that I've honestly not, uh, uh, not seen in a lot of teams, even teams like uh, Team Hyderabad and Bangalore. I haven't seen such a similar score split between both of the uh, both of all the players. Yeah, uh, Ajit, we have all been in those in those situations, and uh, it's really hard to to pick one. But you can support both. Come on, and at the end, you can support the winning team. Whoever wins, uh, let's just say you supported them, and that's why they won. Thank you so much for coming in. And I guess split has been picked. Um, we we saw Kolkata. Uh, getting that win on split and they also started on attacker's side in that game so i guess the the recipe is perfect for kolkata to get a win but chennai they they are you know they they are going to come back they are not going to uh, let it off uh, you know let it go away from them after winning the first round so we'll have to look forward to that um i mean let's see what happens is it going to be chennai coming back or is it going to be kolkata going away with the win I mean, we have seen Kolkata play on this map against Rajasthan. They did win it. Um, I think the score was 13-8, 13-9, something like that. Yeah, 13-8. Uh, yeah. And uh, we haven't seen that. Uh, we haven't seen Chennai play on this. So, it will be interesting. Maybe Chennai is just hi- was hiding the map when they really needed it. Because right now, they really need to win this map. And uh, if they do have something to hide and Kolkata does not know about it, then, uh, I mean, it will be a very, very interesting game. But if Chennai has not prepared for this map of split, then I am kind of doubtful. Because Kolkata, they are very strong on this map. We have seen that. We have seen that against Rajasthan. And, I mean, we'll have to wait for the match, I guess. Yeah, they had a very convincing win, I would say. If if you get a five-point win, I mean, that's convincing. Uh, Adi, thank you so much for the love and support and thank you so much for joining. Um, I mean, it's it's we, we said this, that yeah, Kolkata have um, actually got their hands on split a little earlier than Chennai. 
बट या मे बी चेन्नई विल कम अप विद सरप्राइज मे बी चेन्नई हेज यू नो डन दियर होमवर्क ऑन कॉल करता एंड मे बी दे विल बी एबल टू कम बैक बट दैट्स दैट्स जस्ट स्पेकुलेशन दैट वी आर मेकिंग बिकॉज इवन बिफोर द सेकेंड राउंड वी वुडेंट हैव थॉट दैट इट विल बी दैट वन साइड ऑन टू द ऑन टू द सेकेंड राउंड बिकॉज फर्स्ट राउंड वॉज जस्ट कट थ्रोट यू नो वन राउंड बींग टेकन बाय वन टीम दी अदर टीम कमिंग कमिंग बैक विद दी अदर राउंड बट इट वॉज सर्टनली कॉल करता ऑल द वे इन द सेकेंड राउंड सो आई आई रियली एक्सपेक्ट चेन्नई टू कम बैक but will that come back be enough because it's going to be very tough uh, against this kolkata side who is having this this high confidence because at 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 one point they were on the verge of going out but you know uh, the, the the type of movement they showed and uh, that the type of energy they had and the co- type of confidence they have gained from the last game it's going to be very tough uh, for for you know chennai to make a comeback but you know it's it's um it's it's not impossible they they will be coming back with that let's let's wait um for the time when it happens that is true i mean we can't count count chennai out nor can we say that team kolkata will fall easy on this map of split so if two teams are indeed going to be showing up the way that they have shown shown up uh, till now it will be a very very um interesting game between them one thing that i think is going to certainly be a favor for kolkata is the fact that shivi not only just takes the breach he knows how to use it very well and the way that uh, the team of kolkata is able to play around breach is very very interesting because they are able to use those flashes to stop pushes they are able to use those flashes to make pushes they are able to use um his fault lines his rolling thunder to take retakes to clear sight and that is the sole reason that breach is so so uh, strong in the state that he is right now and if that if they are not able if chennai is not able to figure out uh, how they want to play around that breach or maybe use breach for themselves um it will be it will be very very difficult for chennai to get past that not to mention that they only play a cipher as uh, you know a controller or a sentinel they do not play um they are not playing any spe- specific initiators except for a sova which yes sova is very strong but when you have a sova breach omen combo on the other team you need to figure out something new that you want to do and yeah and we saw a glimpse of that in the first round as well we we saw him doing really well but unfortunately the thing i mean the game didn't go too well for them but yeah uh, he played a vital role in the second round and i i expect the same kind of gameplay coming in from him in the third round as well when it is needed the most i mean uh, stealth in it the, the the next round will just start in a few more minutes and yeah will be available for that we will be casting that as well but uh, you know the last two rounds going one in one one to kolkata one to chennai and when at the start of the game we did expect that something like this is going to happen we did expect uh, a three setter you know game coming in and yes it is happening right now now the next uh, round that we are going to see it's going to be split as chosen by the teams and um, i mean i guess it is going to be the same picks from all the players let's see if they are going to make a difference Well there you go we finally see a raise on flex as well as scar god so raise not an operator that was picked uh in either of the yeah. first two maps there you go jin has picked up the breach so they've given up the sova and they've picked up uh the breach i don't know how that's going to pan out but rafa is going to be on the jet and i don't know giving up the phoenix for a jet let's see if that works out because we are we are finally seeing a lot of changes i mean they they were not changing um i mean when we saw the first round it was not much different from the second round the result was different but uh, the op- the the agents were not but let's see if if raise comes in and makes a difference uh, it's it's really good to see raise on both sides i was really missing the raise uh, in the first two rounds uh, harshil thank you so much for coming in um, this is the best of 3 and both the teams uh, have one round each Uh, Kolkata won one and uh, Chennai won one. So yeah, we are going into the third game now. It's going to be very interesting, just like the first round, because you know a lot is at stakes right now. The two points that these two teams are going to be fighting for, and the best of uh, three has been converted to a best of one right now. And finally, we have the game on our screens. Everyone was waiting for it. We all are waiting for th- the game to start, and it's here right on our screens. Chennai starting on defenders. Kolkata starting on attackers. This is. perfect for kolkata because this is the same kind of setup that was uh, for them uh, against rajasthan it was 138 
will Kolkata make a comeback here? Because uh, if you talk about the first K round, it was taken by Chennai. Kolkata making a very, very strong comeback in the second one. And it all comes down to the third round. Whoever takes this gets two points. And I mean, Chennai desperately needs this because the they lost the first game. Kolkata won the first game. But still, if Kolkata gets, gets the two points today as well, they will cement their position going into the next few rounds, uh, which, which are going to happen for the semi-finals. And Knight Rider uh, gets the tailwind up and running for him. Goes in a closer proximity. Unfortunately, not able to do enough damage. White Horse will be trying to come back. Jet is very low on health. Things didn't go his way. Knight Rider, let's see if he'll be able to come back with those shots. It's down to a 5v5. Chennai's Jet is very low on health. That is the only difference. Um, that is in between the two teams right now and yeah I'm, I'm i'm seeing a very much splitted performance coming in from kolkata this time finally they are going in for those kills smx will be coming up he will get that headshot connected onto stoner gets that kill knight rider will get one of his own as well chennai again falling down crumbling down let's see what happens it's going to be chin trying to go in um herschel there was actually no game changer i mean even before the end of the game we had all the players i mean somebody had 12 somebody had 11 somebody had 11 as well the scar got coming down on to lord Batura gets him as well and kolkata just like the kind of gameplay they showed in the last game uh, i mean they are showing it up uh, again in this one as well but this time chennai had the pistol round in their pockets last one in, in last one but kolkata is taking that away from them as well yes this is in fact the first pistol round that kolkata has won in the start of a match and honestly it i don't know what chennai is thinking right now but again, this is just the start, so we can't really, um, you know, say anything. Yeah. But if Chennai really need uh, this, I mean, Chennai do really need this map. And yeah. oh, Stoner, oh. he, uh, what flex is going to get rid of Stoner with a paint shell? As this oh. looks like Chennai will just get swiped off the board. Jin gets taken out by the Rays, and that is going to be difficult. For Chennai to come back from they do have both these players and Rafa does have a spectre with him but at this point of time will it be uh, the game changer that they need it to be because Chennai seriously need this map and if they do need this map as much as I think they do they will have to make sure that they do not give up on a single round at all. You know, Shivi trying to move in, SMX going for that plant. It's still a 3v2 with Ray's very low on health. That makes it a little easier for Chennai. And yes, they are finally making the play. Rafa gets that kill. And yeah, another has been taken down by Scargot. Scargot takes down Rafa. It's down to a 1v2. Scargot will be going up against Batura. Batura gets that kill onto Scargot. This is down to a Omen versus Omen fight. 1v1 fight. Winner takes all. And that winner is going to be SMX for his team. He gets another. Kolkata off to a flyer here they have a round in the bag and they have already got the first two rounds uh, which we have seen going in chennai's favor chennai not taking away these rounds makes the job a little more tougher and i guess kolkata they have finally got a hold of chennai this is the same thing that happened with them when they played against mumbai i i really don't want to weigh in on that but yeah it's turning out like that chennai fans must be a little disappointed just because they had the first game in the, in the bag uh, and even in the game against Mumbai they had it but you know the game is slipping away from them and I can really see Vizu and the Kolkata camp really happy right now let's see if that happiness will last forever as Rafa takes from Scargot he's going for another but it's going to be SMX who will be shutting him down White Horse takes another Lord Batura is down and out as well Chennai down 2-3 Kolkata again still 4 men standing they have the numbers demanded SMX is going for that plant a very efficient plant coming in from him whom what will get destroyed he will try to go in again it's still a 4v3 uh, where the rays cypher and breach still remain but will they be able to get the job done because kolkata still having that jet and omen that gives them uh and you know the numbers even, even the numbers are in their favor so yeah they have a slight advantage over chennai again kolkata the post plant situation certainly looks like it's in their favor they get the kill flex comes up with one of his own unfortunately not even out the num not evening out the number she will take down flex as well it's all kolkata written over the game right now 3-0 going in kolkata's favor i mean this is looking like a slaughter right now because the way kolkata is just walking into sight they know the angles that they need to check they already know the angles that the breach has cleared for them that is very very smart play from this team and it is clearly showing in the gameplay i mean they have they have done everything 
to clear out sight and then when it comes to post plant they just lock down every single angle they smoke it off to break the lines of sight they use the breech flashes to hold the pushes off and then when the time comes they just use their guns to get those kills and that is very very smart and not to mention ascent is sorry split is a very defender favored map and three rounds without reply for kolkata do not bode well for this team of chennai yeah chennai certainly needs to give a reply here or it will be too late just like the last game knight are trying to go in rafa his blade storm is ready to go but will he connect that still remains the question cypher again losing out on a few health points i guess that was a 1v1 that was coming in kolkata storm are trying to move in but will be shut down by smx this has been um, the day i, I mean everything is going well for kolkata in the last two rounds that we have seen smx uh, shutting down that player rafa finally connects that blade storm gets one is it the opening rafa needed is it the start of uh, i mean something good for chennai will they be able to come back rafa has already gotten one will he be getting another white horse trying to move in as well the numbers are not favoring anyone let's see if white horse will be able to get that favor on to his side chennai kolkata again going hand in hand kolkata still a uh, two players standing chennai one more kill coming in from the other side white horse takes down jin to even out the numbers smx is going for that plant but the the defenders are not far away but they are uh you know they are far enough away uh, you know kolkata got that plant and kolkata will be trying to move in again it's still a 3-0 against chennai the blade storm is uh, is ready from rafa but will he connect again will it be kolkata shutting down rafa yes it is going to be white horse getting that 3k for his team but who has been shut down smx again taking down rafa and this is going to be kolkata 4-0 ah uh, this is difficult to see because chennai the way that they played on haven against kolkata was honestly amazing and since then they just have not had any reply i mean they've tried their best they've done everything that should be done it's just that kolkata is much more i i mean kolkata is well prepared for this map it is clearly being shown in the gameplay that they have and again a force by coming in from the side of uh, team chennai if they do not make this work out they will be in i mean i don't want to say it but they'll have a much bigger problem than the fact that they will be down 5-0 but yeah but you know it's it's now or never for shine because they know if the lead extends to 5 or 6 points it's 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 going to be over because kolkata will not let the comeback happen so uh, let's see if that move works out i really hope the moves work out just because i want to see a very close game but kolkata certainly doesn't want that as they are going away with every round let's see if if chennai has a reply has as the team of kolkata as all the players are all ready to go in they are all ready to barge on to the players of chennai on to the camp of chennai let's see if it works out for them still a 5v5 situation and um, yeah um, i mean if if you talk about the split right now um, we have four players on to the b side they're trying they will try to move in on to that side but uh, if you talk about chennai they haven't been in the best of their forms in the last few rounds actually from even from the last round even from the, that, that this this thing started from the second round on kolkata has been um, a, a a slightly better team uh, if you, if you talk about the last few games that we have had again we are seeing an all in push coming in from kolkata if you leave the cypher out yeah. cypher is still trying to engage with the players on a side is he's trying to gain some information there as he'll try to move in but kolkata uh, certainly putting those utilities to good use to try to get that kill he will get one jin will get one as well but smx is coming back she will get one of his own as well oman is very low on health kolkata down to two chennai down to as well it's all down to the oman and the cypher on kolkata and the cypher will be shut down it will be rafa who will be getting that kill and finally chennai is coming back it was now or never for them but i think things are working out for them oman is very low on health um i mean he hasn't gone for the plant till now i guess he's rotating completely and yes rafa is all ready for him and he gets that kill to finally get chennai around and yeah they they are coming back well chennai finally pick up a round on this third map and a much needed round again if they did not win this their economy would be dead they would have to go in for pistol rounds again and that would not have helped their case but looking at kolkata right now they obviously do have all the money that they need um to go in for buys there is going to be a half shield on stoner as well as night rider and smx so possibly they have stacked up on utility this time instead of just picking up shields so 
it looks like flex will be holding on to a long angle the dash comes in that will not be something that flex will able be able to stop as knight rider now has heaven side control flex still holding on he is the raise he has the showstopper he can use this if he wants to but it looks like he's going to pick one up and start the party a stoner will start his side of the deal as well race does get flashed she'll get taken out by jane breach coming in handy for team chennai this is exactly what we want to see we want to see chennai use the operators the way they are meant to be and get these skills now flex he will be very low on hp but with the man advantage that kolkata uh, sorry that chennai has in a 5v2 it should not matter too much but lord batura is going to fall to knight rider he's also down to a uh, 45 hp he does not have the spike with him though as smx is looking to make his sneaky way into sight i looks it looks like stoner knows exactly where he is the location gets revealed with spy cam and easy kill for stoner and now it is all down to the lone jet rafa's right around the corner he might peek any second now and finish off this round for team chennai as well yeah i mean chennai has been coming back very strongly in the last two rounds and yeah i i do expect them to do the same in the next coming rounds as well kolkata they had an edge over chennai but finally chennai has got yeah. the hang of it they are coming back very strongly with Ten those initial kills left. and if and when the kills were needed the most their players are finally stepping up smx getting those kills as well rafa also anchoring the game right now kolkata i mean they were at an advantage but they shouldn't let chennai go away with with more rounds because if chennai gets oh. uh, the speed done rafa will be you know stunning that player at the end i try to goes out that was a sneaky kill coming in from rafa and uh, yeah again you know 4 to i guess the score is 4 to so only 2 point deficit kolkata was leading with 4 4 points but now finally i can see chennai making a comeback well chennai is certainly looking to make the comeback and it should not be too difficult for them because being a defensive side they do have the advantage they do have the right operators and they do obviously have the skill and the game presence so it will be interesting whether kolkata is able to pick more rounds up or will chennai so slowly and steadily realize that they have the advantage they need to make this work right now because if they do not they will have a big big problem when they go on attack Yeah, they'll have a lot of issues, but now Jin is starting to move in. Flex goes for that paint shells, and Jin will be trying to move in as well. Rafa takes one of his own. Knight Rider has been knocked and finished. It Batura will be coming up as well. White White Horse also getting a kill. Scar Bolt Scar got finished off as well. Rafa will get another SMS is down and out, and Jin is certainly looking very strong. They are certainly trying to make a comeback here. Jin Nay five players up and running, but Kolkata down to one. This is the kind of you know the gameplay that Jin was shown, but Oh my god what is she be doing he, he just surprised me with that kill coming on to rafa because it's very hard to do that kind of stuff to rafa but he gets a kill she be was trying to make the play unfortunately not enough but he will uh, end up getting flex but it was not enough as chennai will get another round i mean this is a amazing retake coming in from chennai still uh, i mean uh, those, those the the, three, the four point deficit has been reduced to one so i can i can you know we we saw uh, how well chennai plays when when it was the first round but unfortunately i don't know what happened to them in the second game this is the chennai we know this is the chennai we expect uh, i mean from from these games but again kolkata had the edge the edge is going away from them but will it be too late for them to make a retake because if chennai goes on like this i guess they are going to go uh, i mean they are going to go away with, with the rounds that is true and as the dash comes in night rider He's done that every single round. I think at this point, Team Chennai would have just realized and said, "Hey, it's just a free kill. Let's just wait there." He's going to dash either way. Rafa is going to pick one up as well. Flex another one. White House and Shivi going to fall. One player is inside the smoke. Omen very heavily tagged. He has a classic with him. Any stray bullet? Sorry, he has a sheriff with him. Any stray bullet right next to him is going to put an end to his life. As SMX looks to play this a little. say if he will have a dark shadow now so that he can use that for flex is just going to annihilate him with that gun as car god is going to miss two shots unfortunately and lord butura comes in and a flawless round for team chennai to make the score all level at 4 to 4 I mean amazing retakes coming in from Chennai they read it perfectly they executed it and they have conquered the next four rounds I mean 
Rafa was really good, but Flex coming in with that operator gets the kill as well. This is what you're expecting uh, from Chennai. They are finally, uh, you know, stepping up. Rafa getting the job done as well, getting those initial kills. What what Kolkata was doing in the first few rounds, now Chennai is giving back the uh, favor. They are getting those initial kills. So it all comes from the player to not expose themselves too much and maybe get an advantage for the team because we have seen teams who have the advantage uh, go away with the win. And it all comes down to a 5v5 again. And, uh, you know, it all comes down to those initial kills that, that can get you the round. Because right now, after 8 rounds, no rounds are separating the two teams. It's still 4-4. Kolkata certainly has the advantage. They are on the back foot right now with Chennai getting going with those four rounds on trot. So it all comes down to the next two, three rounds. Whoever gets the edge, they will have uh, a better viewpoint in this game. Tailwind used very well by Rafa trying to you know dash away and he used it perfectly. Rafa will be coming back with two kills of his own but he has been shut down by Whitehorse a 2k and that's over for Rafa. Lord Pura coming in with that kill as well. SMX will be back with that retake on to Chennai side. SMX takes that kill. It's down to a 3v2. Flexes all ready to take him down but he wish stoner who will be getting that kill away from him shivi his has been finished off as well it's going to be 3v1 where chennai certainly looks they have an edge but you know rafa he, he has been playing the anchor role again coming in with those two initial kills putting chennai at an advantage this is what chennai expected from him and this is what he's doing right now smx the lone player from his team the lone survivor will be shut down as well it's going to be stoner shutting him down uh, again to get chennai five rounds on trot i mean where were they in the first four rounds? I mean, Chennai is certainly making a, a, a pretty good comeback here. I mean, yes, obviously, but I would not like to get ahead of the scoreline right now because yes, 5-4 to four, Chennai does have the advantage, but then again, it is a defender-sided map and Kolkata will be coming back on the defensive team to, uh, defensive side rather, to, you know, possibly take the advantage from this team of Chennai but take nothing away five rounds on the trot that is definitely very very good as Rafa will be the first line of defense paint shells coming in Knight Rider is going to pick oh. one onto Rafa will he get this omen he's going to land shots right next to him he's going to paint the body but both of them are going to cross each other inside the smoke the reload comes in and omen has migrated down to screens as the plant is finally completed now flex will have to make this work he does have a showstopper to make this work well Lord Batula is going to pick one kill onto SMX flex is going to spot two players but he'll not be able to connect the shot the push comes in a flash comes in from the breach as well as car god and shivi are going to pick one up but whitehouse will fall to Jin. the showstopper is going to be coming out the race is going to survive that somehow knight rider comes in from heaven that's a peak coming in Jin's going to pick one up he's looking at the player inside heaven the peak comes in from either one of the players either under heaven or the player of knight rider and that's it kolkata a very close round but a round nonetheless and 5-5 five, five is where we will be sitting. Numbers getting the better of Chennai this time. Kolkata was all ready to take down Chennai in this game. I mean, uh, finally, we are getting a vibe of the first game that we were not able to see in the second. And um, Kolkata getting four in the in the, in the the first few rounds and then Chennai making a comeback with four of their own. I mean, five of their own. And now Kolkata making a comeback. Puts this match at balance. Let's see if Kolkata has what it takes to go away with this round. Both these teams, uh, for those who have joined us late, both these teams have have one one round each and this is a best of three so a winner takes all round for the teams anyways toner let's see what he bring what he will be bringing to the table for his teams as attackers again trying to weigh the situation not giving away anything it's all about those first picks rafa has been able to do that in some games and in those games chene has done really well but kolkata it has been a lot of players standing up white horse getting those initial kills and sometimes it has been smx sometimes some other players as rafa will try to move in he has been surprised a lot of times here so yeah this time he's taking a lot of precautions but she'll be waiting for the right opportunity to move in and go for that plant but again the they still have 50 seconds on the clock but they need to make a decision as quickly as possible because we we, we saw what the time pressure can do to you you have to um you know force yourself to go for that plant she will take down rafa that will ease the tension on the kolkata camp and that will ease i mean that will that will bring on the tension onto the chennai side scar god and knight rider just just you know they they are denting uh the chennai camp right now but yeah jin will be coming up to that kill of his own onto the uh on to scar god i guess it was knight rider taking a kill as well jin has been shut down it's a 4v1 situation the post plant situation looks very very easy for kolkata and they will win it white horse will be shutting down lord Bhadura and it's all kolkata in this round switch. let's see if chennai can take a retake here 
I mean, uh, Kolkata again they come back strong and pick up rounds. So Chennai they had their fairy tale phase. Kolkata came in two rounds in a row, finished it off. But now it will be Chennai's. Uh, now Chennai has the ball in their court. If they are able to take this uh, win, it will be very helpful for them. But if they do not, it will be a big, big problem. So the round starts. Scar God as well as Flex are looking to make the initial plays of the round. The Boom Buddy comes in. That will get taken out, no problem. So now Flex knows that this could be an A slash Heaven take. As Knight Rider will be looking to make his way in from tunnel, he will be having to deal with the cipher. And as both of them peek each other, none of them will land their shots. As Knight Rider, he is a player who can you can rely on. And there you go, Stoner over peeking just a little bit gets taken out. A cloud burst comes in. Scar God, he will take some damage as well. But as the peek comes in, Flex is going to be the one that comes out on top. Rafa, on the other hand, is going to pick one onto white horse as well so now 4v3 kolkata does have the spike in hand they do have three operators they can make this work the first pick from now on is going to decide who will be going forward now as the peaks are going to be coming in it's flex who's going to get that omen will have to backtrack and get this kill he'll not be able to do that as flex is going to pick up a 3k and now it's all down to the single player in sight sight flex is going to play this very smart holding off and get a 4k for himself and there you go the celebratory satchel charges come out he's going to be having a good amount of fun as six to six is going to be the score at split i mean flex making a very strong comeback there with that 4k surprising the other players as well i thought that that woman um i mean it was smx uh who would have got that kill i mean he he just uh went to back to 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 give any kind of backup um to to one of his teammates i mean let's see if if uh, what what the switch has for us because kolkata certainly had the edge in the first four rounds but then see with the next five rounds um 6-6 six, six was the best Chennai could do and yeah, they are there. But now, when the switch has happened, will Kolkata, you know, uh, go away with the victory or is it going to be Chennai? We have been talking about this that yeah, this is a defend, uh, defensive favoured map and Chennai put it to good use in the last few games. But Kolkata certainly had the edge in the first few. Let's see if they will be continuing with that kind of streak. It's down to a 6-6. Cypher is very low on health but one of the players from Kolkata side, Kolkata side has already uh, been taken out. Cypher trying to move in. Um, I mean, he he can go in if, if if he has the backup. But on the other side, if you look at Kolkata, they they are down to four players. Will that be an efficient plan coming in from Chennai? They have the numbers, but will the decision be made uh, a lot quicker? We'll have to wait for that. As a, a strong play coming in from Rafa as well, he will destroy it and he will try to move in. They know where the defenders are, and now finally they are trying to rotate completely from the other side. But will it be an A plan? I I can sense it, but uh, I can since they have a lot of time. Um, if you if you see if you see it like that, a full rotation might be coming through as well. That is true. A full rotation might just help them relieve the pressure that they have. But Rafa is going to land a headshot, but it's not going to be enough. Sandwich between two players. Chibi is going to pick one up. White Horse will pick one up in the smoke as well. And now it's all down to the rays of Flex. He's very low on HP. A single bullet from either one of these pistols is going to be the end of him. He does have a frenzy with him, so it is clutchable. There are three players on low HP in Team Kolkata, but will he be able to make this work? He'll spot one player, but Scarcord. What a pick. Very low on HP himself. He had to land one bullet. He made sure he did that. As we do that, it will be Kolkata regaining the lead. I mean, after the first pick that uh, Chennai took, I thought it, it is going to be Chennai who are going to go away with that round. But Kolkata not missing out on any player after that. They, they were pretty amazing with that retake. And yeah, coming back very strongly. It's still Kolkata having that lead. And they have been, um, you know, in a stronger position in most part of the game. But it was only Chennai when they, when they got those five rounds. And after that, uh, Kolkata getting those one, getting rounds, you know, one after the other. Let's see if Chennai will be able to come back. They have a one round deficit. Scar God will connect 
one and will um, get rid of Rafa very early. Scar God will get one as well. Kolkata again trying to win this one. It's going to be a 1v2. The numbers are too much. Batura will be getting rid of Scar God. Shivi takes two flex shut down, uh, shuts down. White Horse is down to a 3v1. Let's see if Kolkata can make the play here. Flex trying to move in. He will be trying to go for a 1v3. Let's see if that works out for him. But again, Kolkata looking very strong in this one. Yes, they will get rid of him. It's going to be SMX getting another for his team. Flex down and out. Kolkata on 8. Chennai on 6. Again, we were talking about if the switch happens, it will be uh, Kolkata having the edge. And yes, it is uh, happening like that. And now Chennai uh, is, is certainly on a low after losing the first two rounds. I mean, the pistol rounds has been their strong point when we talked about the first game. But after that, they haven't been able uh, to, to get rid of the Kolkata side in the pistol game. Again, we will have a lot of buys coming in this time. Knight Rider has the operator and we know what he's capable of with that operator in hand. But on the other side, we have a lot of vandals coming in. Let's see if, if those will be the difference maker here as Knight Rider is looking for an, for an opportunity to get a kill. Um, Chennai down by two rounds is certainly on the back foot right now. Will try to move in. Jet has his eyes set on the B side and he's waiting for the Cypher to make a mistake, to make a peek here, to come in and then he will be able uh, to get the most of it, most out of it. Scar, uh, Scar God sending his boom bot. Let's see what, what kind of damage it will bring. But on the then I, I still feel that Chennai side uh, they, they should have gone for that all in push because these things are not working out for them they have been trying a lot of splitting but that hasn't worked for them Kolkata certainly gets that first pick and they have been a lot more balanced I guess Kolkata sense that it might be an A push but not the right call I can see two of the players Cypher and Breach actually moving on towards the A side uh, but is, is that a call which it shouldn't have been made and yes they have got that information they are still trying to move on towards B this time it's going to be Scar God getting that kill on to Stoner you know starting the proceedings and um, down to 35 seconds game let's see Lord Padura he is going for that plant he will be able to do that and uh, call to the players a little slow, slow to react but yeah uh, the kills are coming through Knight Rider gets that kill on to Rafa uh, makes it a very difficult situation for Chennai another player bites the dust is going to be Jin who is down and out Knight Rider gets another off his own Shivi gets takes down one as well Kolkata will be going for the defuse and again it's Kolkata who are going to go away with the ninth round I mean, Kolkata definitely playing this perfectly. They are able to somehow read exactly what um, Chennai wants to do. The rounds that Chennai goes aggressive, they play it aggressive as well. And the rounds that Chennai likes to play it slow, like this one, they also tone down the aggression and then they play a retake. And that is very smart in a team because they're able to figure that out um, and change the playstyle that they have is definitely not just going to help them against this team of Chennai, but also in the other games that they'll be playing forward in this tournament and throughout the other tournaments that they do play. So it will be very, very interesting to see how this team of Kolkata is going to hang on to the push that Chennai wants to make as Rafa is going to be there. The shot is missed. Rafa survives that somehow. And that honestly is a second life for him if he does not capitalize on this it will be a big big oh, problem and as what? we speak about that oh boy scar god is going to get rid of shivi while on the other hand there was a trade uh, with the flex uh, with flex i believe onto shivi so that is a good pick shivi off the board is breach off the board which means that you have a lot less utility that you will have to worry about a lot less of the flashes fault lines aftershocks everything else as well so <clears throat> seeing how things are right now it looks like chennai can take this round but again it does not look like kolkata wants to give up anything uh, that is free yeah and uh, you know that that retake coming in from chennai makes it a 4v4 chennai will be trying to go for that plant as soon as possible because they have been a bit late uh if, if you get that plant done early that that puts you at the advantage scar god takes that kill onto stoner flex gets a one of his own to get that retake done and we are finally seeing a lot of a lot of you know rebounds coming in from all the players at those retakes and yeah finally a 3v3 coming in chennai will be trying to move in yeah the showstopper comes out from flex let's see if he'll be able to connect it is he goes for it and Last no actually he won't be able to get that smx shuts down one shuts out another Jin is out of the game as well kolkata taking the game away but lord batura comes to the rescue knight rider will shut him down and it will be kolkata 10 to 6 and you know kolkata is again up and running and this has happened in the past as well when kolkata uh you know goes on hunt they, they get rounds in bulk 
but chennai i mean they they start to come back they get two or three rounds and after that it just doesn't work works out for chennai kolkata uh, has been consistent on a longer run which which gives them the advantage and uh, which which has made the score line like this because uh, just a few seconds ago we had you know 6 6 on the cards we had 6 6 uh, written all over the six uh, scoreboard but now 10 6 we knew that switch is going to do something and it's going to favor kolkata but at this level i didn't expect that i mean uh, kolkata two rounds away from guaranteeing themselves over time and three rounds from an all out win chennai they are in a lot of trouble right now because they have four rounds of deficit to come back and then more and that is definitely not going to help as rafa's dash as well as jin's aggressive push is going to be answered by a phantom and an operator on the other end and chennai down to a 3v5 not the time that chennai needs to lose men like this car got very very low on hp but still alive and kicking and night rider might just do something to change this oh. as he is lined up he's oh. lined up with the cipher as well as the rays the pick is going to be oh. coming in stoner is going to fall a cloud burst comes in scar god is going to get one despite his low hp it's all down oh. to the rays she is inside the smoke she comes out flex is going to spot night rider possibly pick up the op no there you go he's going to fall back and play this a little safe for 35 seconds 30 seconds on the board on the clock he does have some time left. to make some plays but there are four people from kolkata alive one agreed very low on hp but it is looking very difficult for flex to do anything about it he is worried about his back as car god is playing this very safe so 15 seconds on the board if there is anything that flex wants to do he needs to do it now he gets spotted left. by the cypher cam it's only a moment of time before the peak comes in and there you go white horse with the operator going to put an end to the race 11 6 I mean uh, Kolkata is again looking for that strong game looking for a very beneficial lead and they have been able to do so in the last few rounds giving away no round to Chennai after the switch happened Knight Rider was, was really good with the shots unfortunately not able to get another but yeah he got the job done for his team white or also making the play getting rid of the last player from the Chennai side Chennai I mean nothing is working out for them in this time they were a lot more offensive they tried to move in but unfortunately kolkata did expect that they they put in their soldiers at the right position and got those kills anyways they will try to move in again chennai still trying to run on to kolkata side it's a 4-1 split that is coming in and on the b side we only have two players coming yeah, in from the defensive way. side so if they can go on with the offense this time if they can go all in maybe they'll have the advantage women still injuring in the middle side not able to go in rafa all ready uh, with with his blade storm coming in let's see if he'll be able to make some kind of play here smx he has been a star for his team in this game anyways uh, both the teams taking it very patiently kolkata knows that you know they they can be a come back on the card so they they want to take it as patiently as possible they don't want to give out any round they want to win it big but will it happen chennai on the other hand they are on a five round deficit here they have been uh, losing those five I rounds on top rafa will connect one will get it of smx but scar god will be the one to get it of him night rider comes out with that operator as well gets one of his own chennai down to three flex still looking to make the play but will it happen as kolkata still has the numbers to advantage will that work white horse as the cypher he has done a, a lot of job he has done a lot of fragging but he will be not Not, he will not be able to do so this time but ura will be shutting him down down to a 3v3 situation omen low on health but he can make the play he can just run in and get that kill let's see if he'll be able to connect as a lot of utility is coming through white horse blinded but um, he still up and running he will go for that kill it will be jen who will be getting uh, him night rider comes out with a kill of his own flex has been shut down night rider as soon as that guy got uh, i mean operator he has been on another level anyways night rider will be trying to move in this time the operator didn't work as it will be batura getting that kill kolkata down to one is the retake chennai needed the spike has been planted anyways kolkata is looking for a comeback here chennai down to two well there you go lord batura comes in with the peak and there you go shivi is going to fall and kolkata is going to prolong oh, sorry chennai is going to prolong the inevitable for some time longer but still a big big job in front of team chennai to do anything about it because there is only two rounds stopping kolkata from taking another two points and tying themselves on the top of the leaderboard so a very very um i mean a tough situation for team chennai but 
I think they can do it. Four rounds, not too much. Once they get the momentum going in, they should be able to do it. But Shivi right yeah, now... Yeah, they have done it. Yeah. yeah, they have done that. Yes. And Shivi yeah. right now is going to be ready with the Rolling Thunder. So the second he knows that a peak is going to be coming in or there is any kind of a push, he will trigger that. There you go. Flash first comes in. The jet is going to take a lot of damage. Not really certain where that came in from. But Shahar position is now most definitely known. Three players inside mid and Rafa right now very low on HP. As we speak about that, the brim, oh sorry, the breach is going to be making his way away. Shivi still holding off on that rolling thunder as it looks like there you go. It comes in. The cloud burst is going to be there as well as unfortunately for Shivi, his ultimate will be wasted because all the players have forsaken mid control it looks to be a push coming in but there is one player in heaven holding off on peaks he'll get cloud busted twice as well as a dark shadow to prevent the line of sight stoner is going to be going in for the plant rafa misses the first updraft will he be able to make it work right now no it looks like it was just a fake he wants to think that he wants the other players to think that maybe he could be peeking in from heaven so now a 5v5 retake coming in Breach does have his utility. One player is going to get spotted. He'll be very low, but he'll use using his dash to get away. As Rafa is going to be coming in, he'll pick one onto SMX, but Whitehorse will get the trade. And now it's three players inside side for Team Chennai. A spike has already been planted sometime, has whittled off. But it looks like the peaks are going to be coming in. Jin's going to get one night right. A Scar God and Shivi going to pick one instantly off the back. The first kill. I believe they have more than enough time to make this work out as they guarantee themselves overtime and sit one round away from taking this best of three. Match point. You know, uh, Chennai did take one and I, I did expect them to make a better comeback, but Kolkata is not looking to stop here. Um, one round was taken away by Chennai, by Chennai, but it was not enough as Kolkata has taken another uh, to balance out the situation right now for them. It's 12 to 7. Kolkata certainly, uh, you know, inching closer towards victory with every other round. And the, the type of play that has been shown by Kolkata this time, they certainly deserve it, the kind of scoreline that is. I mean, um, in the first round, they were down and out. But after that, they have been on a different level. Scargot trying to move in, trying to start the proceedings. Let's see if it, this will be the last round for today. But Whitehorse, yeah, he does agree with that. He takes one on to Rafa. Rafa is down and out. Whitehorse will try to move in. But let's see if he'll be able to make the play here. The the players on Kolkata side, they, they have a lot less health than they would have wanted. But let's see if that will work in their favor. As they still have the numbers advantage going in their favor. A lot of players coming through. Flex waiting for the opportunity to get a kill. It's going to be Shivi will, who will take out Jin. Still waiting for the opportunity. Batura will go for that plant. And a very efficient plant coming in from Batura this time. The spike has been planted. Scar God will take one more. Stoner is out. Flex comes out and takes down Scar God. Down to a 4v2. Cypher is low and health. Breach is low and health. Breach is has been taken out into flex who will take him out knight rider coming out with another shot and he takes on bhatura as well down to a 3v1 cypher low on health will raise be able to make the play no it's not going to be raised it's going to be white horse who will shut down the raise to get kolkata another round and the game as well well Defenders match point win. series point is going to go in the favor of kolkata and there you go scar god very happy with the performance that his team has made today and honestly you should be after looking at the way that Kolkata has played this. I mean, look at this again. Look at the scoreboard. If you just remove the players from the side of Team Chennai, look at that. 18, 18, 14, 14 and 12. Just a six kill difference between the top fragger and the bottom fragger for Team Kolkata. And that is again something that I have never seen players have this this is something that i have not seen a lot of teams have the kind of consistency that they have with each other the fact that they play off each other's back the fact that they're able to do this consistently over the course of three maps just speaks volumes about the way that they trust their teammates the plays that they make the retakes that they do and sometimes yes they do get taken out completely like the one five-man yeah. flank that they tried to do on haven it was completely a slaughter for team Ch uh, kolkata but leaving those rounds aside i mean in three maps if you have two rounds three rounds like that it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day in the other rounds those five people are doing something together and that was something that unfortunately for team chennai we were not able to see 
yeah they have looked amazing after the first round that that chennai had kolkata was certainly looking like a better team and uh, you know winning two out of two is certainly a difficult job not a lot of teams have been able to do that but kolkata certainly one of them chennai i mean the same thing has been repeated th- with them they they won one against uh, mumbai uh, i mean the first round against mumbai but unfortunately not able to um, you know capitalize on that but i mean losing 2-1 they have been able to extend the game towards the third round but it hasn't been working out for them they need to get get go- they need to get going from the start only if they win the uh, first round they need to put that extra bit of pressure they should go for i mean a more offensive game play i guess after winning this first round they were a little um, you know going going for a layback but unfortunately it didn't work out for them and um, chennai certainly you know they they need to buckle up right now because if this continues to happen for them um i don't know how much longer they can survive in the tournament that is true chennai having a huge fan base they will definitely have to live up to all the expectations that their fans have because at the bottom of group a that is not a position that you want to be in two matches played for chennai both lost and i mean it is kind of sad as well the kind of talent that they have in their yeah. team they should not be a team that has played two and lost both of them they are a team that can definitely uh, buck up they are a team that can definitely show up for these big games because i have seen person i have personally seen the players of this particular team of chennai go up against the squad of velocity gaming and they did not win the match but they still were able to do something about yeah. it and that is something that is very um, very good because that speaks volumes about what these players can do and if unfortunately they were not able to show up today or the in the game before this they will have to take it in their stride figure out what they did right what they did wrong and possibly get a uh, get a much more of a influential comeback or maybe an influential play day when they do end up playing the next time i mean chennai still has four games to go they they have lost two but if they can manage to win most of the matches most of the other games that they are going to play um they'll still uh, i mean they might still end up qualifying for the semi finals because you have six games you you lose one you win one but at end, at the end of the day it it matters like how many total you have won so i guess if if chennai can come back in the next four games they have certainly looked like a good team who can win rounds but they haven't been able to win the games that has been one thing that hasn't been working out for them so if they can close in quickly if they can uh, you know polish that finishing line uh, if if they can um, you know come up a little better or in the in the ending phases so i think they can certainly make the play and they can certainly go away with the victory that is true what i have personally seen chennai do a lot is that they focus on their frag game quite a bit um yes when they do get the frags it works out for them they get those amazing plays coming in but what about the times you're not able to do it especially yeah. against teams like kolkata because every single round that um aggression came in from the side of team chennai if it worked out it would be because two players of kolkata got taken out instantly which is what we saw rafa do a lot every single time he had to make an aggressive play it had to be a 2k there was never a time where rafa was playing it aggressive and ah. would open up uh, the the site with just one single kill so that speaks a lot about how kolkata was playing and if chennai can either play that way or they can figure out ways to stop that happening because there was a consistent breach pick every single time that kolkata went to haven or to split or to ascent and that is definitely something that uh, was a big factor shivi on that breach was doing a lot of his work he was able to push out lines of sight he was able to prevent pushes and in general be a big thorn in the back of uh, team chennai and at the end of the day i think that that one single pick one single play from shivi is going to be a a big deal yeah it's going to be a big deal winner i mean kolkata on our screens getting that victory 2-1 it was amazing from them i mean the comeback was amazing uh, if you talk about the last few days we have seen a lot of comebacks but this one from kolkata certainly you know one of the tops on that list and uh, you know we we still have a lot of games left but the action that has been you know coming in in the last few days it has been uh, amazing it has been out of the box and uh, every game has something for us we have seen no one sided games coming through i mean there there have been no score lines of like 13 0 13 132 it has been you know both the teams doing well on their part and we have seen a lot of uh, three rounds game as well but even the rounds um, uh, i mean even the games who were just you know two rounders and we we saw a lot of games 
uh, which were ending in two rounds they, both the teams did really well both the teams did manage to fight it out till the end so yeah i mean everyone is doing their part everyone is working hard to make the play but uh, sometimes you win sometimes you lose and yeah th- this was one of those days where chennai uh, didn't cross the line and kolkata certainly going away with the victory and the two points that were um, that are going to be awarded to the winner that is true so we can look at the uh, standings that we have team kolkata on top like team hyderabad four points two wins zero losses rajasthan one win one loss mumbai one win one loss and chennai unfortunately two losses so hyderabad and kolkata looking definitely like teams who have started and hit the ground running already but it looks like delhi as well as chennai have something to do even punjab for a matter of fact three teams not being able to pick up points just yet though i would say that as a chennai fan you would be a lot more worried because in group a you are at the bottom and you have played the same amount of games as everyone else so you'll need to win those two you'll have to make sure that you are able to pick up those two uh, game worth of points which is four points and possibly uh, do something about it through the remainder of the tournament because we would like to remind our viewers that it is only the top two teams from each group that is going to qualify it is not going to be based on anything else except your points at the end of the group stages yeah it's all about you know making to the top uh, two rankings in in both the groups let's see uh, who gets the edge today uh, i mean who gets the edge at the end of the tournament but chennai certainly needs to worry because of the first two games that they have lost i mean they still have four games left in the in the bag so yeah they they still have a lot left in the tank and they still have um, a lot of probability of coming back but uh, I mean, this is do or die for Chennai because just because they have lost, you know, two games uh, in a row, if they don't win win the third one, uh, I I I really I'm really afraid uh, they won't be able to make it. But still, um, as the game goes on, it's it's still four teams and two of them will make it. So the points table is going to be a lot more volatile than we we might think, and there is still a lot of chances for Chennai to make a comeback in the in the next four games that they're going to play. That is true for at least for Chennai. um the next four games are possible of eight points i mean they would definitely want to have all of those eight points but at the bare minimum i'd say that they need three games if they do not in the in the upcoming games if they end up losing one then it will be a kind of doubtful thing whether they'll be making it or not but if they lose two games in the upcoming four games that chennai has we can almost count them out and they will not be able to make it to the semi finals on the other hand kolkata pretty sure if they pick up two wins they'll almost yeah. be guaranteed a spot um but then again it is something that we cannot really um weigh ourselves out on but what we can what uh weigh ourselves out on is these players death makers still on top strix uh close second Rafa has finally made his way up there as well with 101 kills and 95 deaths so the KD not really the best on the uh, top 5 player list but then again he's still there he's the only th- he's one of the three players who have um, crossed the three digit mark and that is um, amazing nonetheless Yeah, we did expect a few changes when when the you know top five comes out at the end of the day. So it's going to be Rafa displacing one of the players from the top five list, and uh, Excali again making um still remaining in the top five. M W one also cementing his spot on the top five. But as we go on, with every other day, we have seen the the this top five changing. There has been no day where we 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 saw. nothing happening to that that list so that that tells you that there are players stepping up from every team there are players who have made the difference and it was rafa today who made the difference who made his way to top 5 as well a very good game for him uh, but let's see if he'll be able to continue with the same kind of gameplay in the upcoming games and if if he'll be able to win it for his team that is true and i think that rafa he's definitely a player who um as i stated this earlier he is a player who can do this a lot more consistently and his team really needs it right now i mean uh, team chennai they seriously need a player like rafa to step up get those skills do something about it because the way that uh, he has been having his games it's been um you know 
it's like he has been able to do it it's just that he has not been able to do it enough for his team but then again that is something that you know really can't be said or anything about but tomorrow's game is definitely going to be something that you would not want to miss it's going to be team bangalore taking on team punjab at 2 pm and that is one game that i would definitely not want to miss because it will be very very interesting to see how punjab is going to be coming back from the loss that they've just had with team hyderabad they'll be pumped up they'll want those points again they've been given that opportunity and they will definitely be looking to do something about it but on their other side is going to be team bangalore who we definitely know is one strong strong team they were able to pick up one map against team hyderabad but not able to lock out the points but since then they have picked up one game so they'll be looking to tie team hyderabad but punjab they're not going to be any kind of a pushover yeah and they, they did put up a good fight against hyderabad and uh, it was not all hyderabad there they were instances where punjab was looking strong as well so they are definitely going to put up a good fight against bengaluru as well bengaluru as you said they lost uh, the 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 first game against hyderabad but they were able to um, win one of their games in the next one so yeah they have they had a win they had a loss so they will try to you know get some more points to to cement their position but uh, team punjab team punjab since they had a loss in the last one they they, they will certainly uh try to put up a good fight they will certainly try uh to give out their best performance and see if if they can win it against bengaluru exactly and i mean um, all right so between bangalore and punjab um bangalore is a team that has a lot more experience agreed but punjab is a team that um does not give away too many of its you know yeah. sneaky strats so bangalore will have to play it smart um it will not be easy for them and we have seen that against hyderabad punjab uh, though they lost 2-0 they were still a team that hyderabad had to respect despite the team that hyderabad is so if a team like hyderabad had to give respect to the kind of players and the plays that punjab was making bangalore is not going to be any less they will definitely have to respect the skill that is there on the other team because if they do not punjab will change it in a moment's notice Yeah, so it's going to be a tough game again tomorrow. I mean, the competition has been cutthroat from day one, but uh, I guess the heat is going to turn on tomorrow as well. That is true. So tomorrow at two p.m., we will be seeing Team Bangalore take on Team Punjab. That is a game that you will not want to miss. But till then, this is going to be me, Doctor Dang, and Dinkar signing off. We had a great game today. Kolkata taking it two-one against Team Chennai. But don't go anywhere. We will be back tomorrow with these games. The moment of creation is a form of magic where an off becomes an on a zero becomes a one then another and another until deep in the complexity you discover order speed reliability power experience the wd black MVME SSD fueled by darkness level up to MVME SSD performance
back at him, I'm back strong.